I just passed another 1,000 days in my hardcore world. From building an airport in the nether to getting every single advancement, it's safe to say I spent these 1,000 days doing quite a lot. So it was only right that I compiled all the days between day 2,000 and 3,000 into one full-length movie for you guys to watch. If you guys haven't seen days 0 to 2,000, there'll be an icon at the top right as well as a link in the description. But otherwise, sit back, relax, grab something to drink, and enjoy the movie. I'm currently building an airport in hardcore Minecraft, but for the next part of this, I need this whole area covered in wool and carpet. I'm talking tens of thousands of blocks. And... This is my sheep farm. It's not gonna cut it. So today I'm gonna build a massive sheep farm that is completely automatic. I don't even need to do anything. And it's gonna generate every single color of wool that's in the game. This way I'll never have to even worry about wool again. And we'll make building things a lot easier. So to begin, I need a bunch of glass, which I'm gonna get now. I need around seven shulker boxes of glass, which isn't too bad. So let's get started. Okay, there is enough. I also made it white glass because I think it's gonna look better for what I'm gonna build. But next up, I need a bunch of concrete, like every single color. Because I want this to look pretty. I don't want to just be like a, pretty much what we're looking at right now. I don't want it to just be like a redstone machine thrown in the middle of the world. So we're gonna make it look pretty. So I need a bunch of concrete, literally every color. So let's get to work on this. Okay, that is a lot of concrete. I have every single color in here all ready to go, except it's all in powder. And pretty much this whole series, I've just been going to an ocean or making a contraption that just has me mining over and over until it turns from the concrete powder to concrete. But I'm sick of it. I'm just, I'm over it. It's time to like actually solve this. That's why we're building the wool farm to begin with. We want to solve these issues, make everything just be more efficient. So we're going to build a concrete machine so that it'll make things a lot quicker and we won't have to spend nearly as much time mining concrete so yeah this design was made by il mango i've already got the stuff to build it and we're gonna build it over here next to the cactus farm we put because there's nothing else over here and maybe this could turn into like a sort of area where we have a bunch of farms where we could just do stuff like if i'm mining concrete in this area the cactus farm is gonna be going anyway so i can knock out two things in one go and don't even need to do anything so yeah maybe we put a bunch of farms here i would like to design these properly instead of having the redstone on the outside so if you guys have any ideas of what i could make this area kind of transform this swamp into let me know but yeah i'm gonna build this farm now so let's go Okay, this should be built properly. I don't know. I came back with a few extra materials, which kind of scares me. Maybe I'm missing blocks, but I've loaded this up. And I think all I need to do is just change my control here to a different button so that I can place quicker or break quicker. No, no, no. Hold on. I think I just turn this on and I hope I don't die. I'm going to get an extra totem here. This should work. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it suspensing? What happened? What happened? Blow up the trap door. Okay, I didn't build it right. Hold on. Okay, I just got so confused. This is going to feed me the concrete and then I place it the TNT is gonna blow it up. I thought it was gonna place it for me, which I don't think you can even do in Minecraft. So I'm gonna place the block and it's gonna blow up and nothing's gonna go wrong. So let's go. If I just go here, this should be working. Why is that concrete there? I don't know why it's there. That doesn't look right. Okay, let's stop it, let's stop it, let's stop it, let's stop it. No, this is not working. No, yeah, that did not work. What's up? I'm struggling to build this machine. Is it the stairs? The stairs come come up like they're built wrong, but like that's no. wait, are they waterlogged? <gasps> yeah, it is supposed to be water. Is it? Oh my god, that's probably it. <laughs> All right, there we go. It actually did not take nearly as long as this would have. Like this would have taken this would have taken so long to do. So I'm glad that I built this, and we'll never really have to worry about mining concrete again. But now, not only am I gonna sort all these into their colors here, we'll have it nice and organized. But I need a few more materials just to get this build done. So just some random stuff. I'm gonna grab those real quick. Okay, I think this is everything. This is a lot of stuff, but I believe with all of this, I can finally start building this sheep farm. So I'm gonna grab all this and we're gonna head over to the spot where we're gonna build this. Okay, this is the spot. It is not far from the Great Wall of China, which gives us easy communication with the portal that's over there. And it's just gonna go right over here in this whole space. I've already moved all the stuff over here. So I guess the first thing I need to do is grab two sheep to get this started. And there's two right here. You guys are gonna be the beginning of something much larger than you could ever imagine. I'm just going to put them in a hole for now. And I guess I'll just start breeding them because I'm going to need a bunch of sheep when I'm done with this. But I guess in the meantime, while I wait for those sheep, I'm going to just build one of the machines and I'll show you guys how it works. And yeah, hopefully we have more sheep by then. So let's go. 
I'm just realizing I forgot to get shears. I need to like fill these up with shit. Oh my god, I need so much iron. I don't have an iron farm. Oh no. <laughs> And we have an iron farm. So this was designed by They6. Not my design. Link in the description, of course. Uh, this should hold us up for a bit. It's definitely not near as much as we need in total. But I'm just going to be AFKing, I guess, whenever I get a chance. Because I need a lot of shears. You guys will see. But this, uh, this is a good start. So yeah, let's continue building this. Okay, so with all the shears in here now, I pretty much need to get one sheep in each one of these holes. And I don't have that yet. That is something I got to keep building up when these guys are ready to breed. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is repeat this because there's more stuff that's going to go above this but i can't do that yet because the sheep aren't in there and i don't want to block that off so i'm just going to build all of these ready to go for the sheep as many as i need and i need i need 64 of these so yeah that's a lot and a lot of sheep and a lot of shears so yeah i'm gonna get going with this let's go Okay, that is a lot of redstone. That took a minute, but it is all done. And now I need to get the sheep in here, which is probably going to be a difficult task. They're going to go in each one of these small holes. And I think I have enough now. I've been breeding them up. If I need more, I can definitely just breed them again. Oh my God, I'm stuck in here. So let's just see how difficult this is going to be. I'm going to grab some wheat. I did not have wheat on me. Now I just want one. One sheep. Oh, we just want, just one. Oh my God, I actually just got one. All right, follow me, follow me. A little more, a little more, a little more. Well, let's go. Oh. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, I don't want him falling in the same one, so... This might not be too bad. He can just walk out though, right? Okay, well, I don't think this will be that difficult. It's just that I have to do it that many times. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's gonna take forever. But before I do, I wanted to try something. I was having a thing, and I was like, what happens if you shear a rainbow sheep? I'm gonna name it, and it's rainbow. Now, maybe I, I time it to get yellow. Let's try to get yellow. There we go. Oh, it's just white. Okay, well, that's really disappointing okay all right well i'm gonna put the sheep in here yeah it's gonna take forever okay so i was just gonna go ahead and do the whole thing but now i'm realizing i'm getting a lot of wool and if i just leave it here it's kind of a waste also a waste on the shears but we got an iron farm now it doesn't really matter but like i want this wool that's the whole point of building this farm so while i'm building this i'm gonna build the collection system as well because it's just going and i'm gonna be missing out on all of this wool so pretty much how i want to do this is i'm gonna connect it so that all the wool that comes out of every single one of these things connects to pretty much a storage system that'll be automatically sorted and that is going to be done using an ice road so the wool will be pushed into an ice road where the water pushes it to the sorting system it's gonna look good too it'll be it'll be cool to watch so yeah that's what i'm gonna do let me just finish the actual farm first before i do that because i need to have a few more layers above this and that's it so i'll do that real quick Okay, so pretty much the wool is still going to be everywhere at the top here. Minus that. I don't think that was... I don't think that's what's going to happen. So we have the water there. And then it's going to go here. So anything that falls here, which the wool is going to, is going to go straight down the ice. It's in line. So every one of these farms can have a setup like this. And you see it working. But it's all going to be set up so it all connects to the same thing. And then into a hopper system. Sorts it all. Easy as that. So that is what I'm going to do really quickly. Let's go. Okay, there we go. So I've only hooked it up on one side. I'll do the other side now. But look, okay, we'll follow this wall right here. It's gonna go down the ice. Oh my god, it's so fast. But that's that's the good part. It, it's literally so fast. It's gonna go down the ice, falls there, it goes around here, around the corner, and into the hoppers. It's gonna be a sorting system. I haven't done it yet because I need wool to put in the sorting system. So I'm just gonna put it in a chest for now. We'll fix it up later. But yeah, as you can see, it's working. It's going up. The wool is finding its way. All I need to do now is connect it on the other side, which would just be the exact same thing. Following it through here, and then it's gonna cut right down the middle and then eventually into the chest that's the plan now i'm actually going to get all the sheep in here because that's going to be a big task and i need to get started so hopefully i don't age a couple years before i finish this but yeah let's go okay that is a row done this took so long to do that is a full row done and it is going crazy i'm second guessing whether i need all of these i've already built the hard part for these like there's no turning back as drake would say we're in too deep but yeah just watch this go by it's it's non-stop i think i probably already got enough wool for 
the airport already just by this going on its own like it's it's constant constant wall non-stop which leads me to the next thing i've been trying to manage this as i'm building i didn't expect it to be going this crazy already um so yeah i need to sort out the storage system before i continue doing any of this but this is going crazy already and imagine this times four because that's what i'm going to do but yeah transferring the sheep is really tedious it's not difficult i just use the hip boxes to push them in but it takes a while because there is a lot of holes to put the sheep in and then also there's the iron farm so this was not producing near enough iron in the rate i wanted to i'd have to be here for i want to say 10 hours afking so then i added another layer which dropped it down to five hours and then still like i don't want to be sitting here for five hours so i added a third layer which should drop the afk time for iron to about two hours because i need five stacks of iron for one square of the wool farm so like one set of yellow wool is going to be five stacks one set of red wool is going to be five stacks of iron to cover it all with shears but i have been doing some afking it is day 2300 wow. already i'm about 90 percent of the way there pretty full at the moment i need to do like maybe half an hour more afk but it's it's going good also these puppies are completely artificial so we don't want any part of that like that's not the way you collect puppies so i don't want that also i should probably mention the wool farm i'm building is designed by jet may mendo links in the description for their video but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and sort out the storage first because it is just overflowing right now and it needs to be fixed so yeah let's do that All right, so this is all set up and ready to go. Just a little storage room, nothing too special. It'll look better once we get the whole environment done here. I got all of the chests lined up here. Uh, I just need to throw some items in. Hopefully this works. I turned off all the farms, so it didn't overflow while I was building this. And then it's just like, I got all this wool. What do I do with it? And we're going to act like this is just coming from the wool farms. And then should get sorted, right? Bit of grays going through. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's working, of course. Now all the wool is going to be correctly sorted. I'll get all that in the sorting system. And I'm going to do another row here. So yeah, hopefully this... This is going to be a lot easier now that we have all the iron, but let's we'll see how we go. And there we go. That's 50% of this factory done. This is going to be a machine once I'm finished with it. It was going so crazy. I literally had to just turn everything off. It would be fine once I get all the sheep in, but I just had to turn it off. Now, I actually just need to check and turn all of these ones on and make sure everything's working. I haven't even done that yet. I just built it. And yeah, it looks like it is working. That is crazy. This is just with one on. Like these first set of row here is not even on. Imagine that times four is what we're gonna have at the end of this see i gotta turn it off because it's just gonna get too many i will say though this is taking a long time to get the sheep in here i need to get 256 sheep per row in these tiny boxes yeah i spent like the whole day doing this row so i'm gonna sleep and hopefully we get another row done tomorrow There we go. There's three now. This is getting actually laggy. I can't lie. There's so many sheep, I guess. But let me just test this works. I'll turn all of them on. And yeah, it is <laughs> working really well. The last thing I need to do is build the final row, which obviously is just going to go right here. I've definitely over-engineered this whole thing. I probably only needed like one row, but never in my life am I going to worry about wool again once this is done. So yeah, I'm going to get cracking and build this final row. Let's go. All right, that is it. Thank God that took forever to do but that is all of the farms we're doing so now we just need to make this look a bit nicer i don't think i'll ever have to refill the shears considering how much iron went into this project but just in case i'm gonna put like a really fast super highway type thing that's gonna go through all of the shears or the droppers here so you could just run through as quick as possible refilling them and it won't take long i don't think i don't think i'll ever have to do that but just in case i'm gonna set it up and also i don't need any of these sheep anymore so this is going to be satisfying considering how much work i just did so let's get rid of of all of these sheep yeah i'm gonna build the ice path here so let me do that okay so it looks like it's got like a wood floor in there now but this is pretty much the idea you hop in here and if i need to refill the shears which i can do just by filling them in here i can just spam spacebar and i move so quickly under this so then i can just like run to specific areas throw the shears in and keep going like it's it is super fast but yeah i guess that completes all the technical stuff to this factory so i just need to make it look good now so what i'm gonna start off by doing is just making like a background to this so i'm pretty much gonna cut off like this whole back area so that you can't see it by putting like like a colorful background Background behind it. I think it will look nice, especially from up on this mountain over here. And it's gonna get from the edges all the way around. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right about now. <laughs> there we go it's starting to look a lot better it, it looks like i've done a lot now but that was 
honestly like the quickest thing out of this whole project that did not take long at all maybe like half an hour in comparison to the like week i've spent building all this also i got a growing uh shulker box totem pole of all the empty boxes i don't need anymore makes it easier to find something because i know it's not gonna be in any of those and we'll see how high it goes but i need to do actually the last thing on this build and while it looks okay now there's an issue that like you have this river here and kind of a separation between these two things here like you got caves going all around here like it's kind of ugly so what i'm gonna do is i have a bunch of green concrete and we're pretty much gonna make our own landscape covering this whole thing up so that it looks nice and then i'm gonna put a wall going around the actual farms made out of gray concrete just so it kind of like boxes everything in and it'll look pretty nice i think so yeah uh that is that's it that's gonna put the finishing touches on this so yeah let's do it There we go. I think that just ties everything together. Totem pole is huge now, which means we've pretty much used all the materials we needed to. Putting a completion on this whole project. This thing is a monster. It just cuts my frames down by like 90%. It's it's really bad. It's not even on right now. Just the amount of sheep that's in here, which I think is over a thousand. So that's over a thousand entities. It's just, it's a lot going on. But yeah, I added a bunch of trees, a sheep face there. These are meant to be sheep, but I don't think they turn out the best. It, it doesn't matter. It's just little details. But yeah, we wanted to build this environment. It makes it look like it's not just some redstone factory just sitting in the middle of nowhere which i guess it still is but this makes it look more like i don't know there's more to it than that also i put these patterns to like box everything up it's it's supposed to be like graffiti like a graffiti wall if you guys can see the vision but i guess the last thing to do is actually turn all of this on i've only been doing it like one row at a time so yeah it's time to get in here and turn every single one of these machines on and see if we build a good wool factory all right this is the last one so everything should be on now let's see how much wool we're gonna get out of this every machine is on so oh my god that is a lot of wool it is literally like overflowing i i have had this on for like not even a minute yeah i think i might have over engineered this one the question is did i need this much wool definitely not i have a museum that has every single block in hardcore minecraft well not anymore i've just updated my world to the 1.20 update which is the brand new update in my Minecraft, which means this is not complete. The last things we got were the stuff in the wild update, and we need to update this museum. Otherwise, I'm a fraud. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna put the airport that I'm building on hold just one more time so we can get this complete. Now, the first thing we need is the brand new cherry wood. It's a brand new wood type, which spawns in a brand new biome, which is the cherry wood biome. Now, the thing is with the new biomes is my world is old, meaning I've done some exploration, and this biome's not gonna be anywhere near my base. So we're gonna use this website called Chunk Base to find the brand new biome, and I'm gonna to head to the nether and we're gonna get there right now now according to my calculations if i build a portal right here we should be in a cherry grove biome so long as i haven't been in these chunks before which honestly i have no idea so we're gonna test this out and there we go and we get the achievement again this is pretty yeah so we get the achievement again since we're discovering every biome again we already did it but this is so pretty i hope i bring silk touch i just realized i don't think i did oh no we got the hoe we got the hoe and we can make shears okay we're good we're good this is insane how big is this i just went to the first one i saw this is insane yo i need these flowers right now i think we can bone mill them so i don't need to get like everyone in this biome but whoa they give a lot too i guess because you plant four of them okay yeah i definitely want to build with these we better get the trees as well because this is a brand new wood type and there's there's a lot of new items that I need to craft and put in the museum, like fences, gates, signs, everything in this wood type is now available. And we get the leaves as well, which is going to give us these beautiful particles. Oh my gosh. It's like It's like literally leaves falling. This And it like rotates as it falls. Um, okay, look, guys, we don't get Minecraft updates this often. This is something crazy right now. We have to just take in the excitement because it's not going to, it's not going to happen that often, but I'm going to get a bunch of these leaves. I really only need one for the museum, but I'm going to grab some and I guess we'll leave the portal open so that I can always come back back here and get some more stuff there we go we got 41 cherry logs which i think will be enough to get all the items now i don't believe there's anything else to get in this biome if i'm wrong we'll be back here soon but i think that those three things is actually it they have the petals on the netherrack of the ruin portal how is that even possible there's a village leading into it right here this is so pretty i'm gonna i'm gonna head back because i'm just gonna be here all day let's get this stuff in the museum okay so we start with the basic cherry log let's get the stripped what's this called wood variant there we go then we get the cherry log and the wood variant 
iron stripped. Well, that's kind of nice. Uh, let's get the planks. We'll get the slabs, the stairs. We'll get the buttons, doors, fences. We get the fence gates, the pressure plates, the signs, and the trapdoors. And I believe that's everything. Oh, wait. I guess we should put the pedals in here. There we go. Now, there's also the hanging signs. Only issue is I'm missing a few variants because in order to make these, it's actually kind of expensive. So you need six stripped logs and then two pieces of chain. So it'd be like this. And that gives you the hanging signs, which is a lot. And I don't know. I'm just missing a bunch of logs. I got these ones so far. So I need to go grab some dark oak, mangrove, and the nether woods. A few more. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so we also have the bamboo, which is also a new wood type now. I think we go block of bamboo and then I don't know. Oh, there we go. Bamboo planks. Let's get a bunch of this. I know there's hanging signs for this. How do I get the logs though? Do I strip the block of bamboo? Is that okay? That's that's it. That must be it. This is a weird looking block and we get the hanging signs. Okay, there we go. That is all the signs. I also didn't put the saplings in the museum the first time. I just didn't do it because I don't think they're blocks, but I guess that's an argument to be made. It could be a block. So we're going to do it this time we're gonna get all these saplings which i should already have and we're gonna put them in flower pots there we go that's all of them so i guess we'll start with the hanging signs i'll put the pillar on here and then put the hanging sign underneath it like that <laughs> it looks pretty weird but i think that's the way to go and there we go that's all the hanging signs it doesn't look as weird now that you have all them there and i'll get all the flower pots in here now just like this now they're not gonna grow so we'll have no issues with that i also got a piece of bamboo because i mean they don't have a sapling but we can put it in the flower pot so it works and then last one there we go there we go there's the saplings and hanging signs but i guess the next thing we might as well get is the bamboo stuff that's another new wood type and i already kind of got it started here we pretty much just need to get the exact same things but in bamboo as we did cherry wood i just don't have that much bamboo let's just do this oh there's a maximum there we go that should be enough okay so we have the block of bamboo which is like the pretty much the normal log we have the strip log the bamboo mosaic which you make using slabs it's just kind of like a patterned version of this and then the bamboo mosaic stairs is new and they have a slab pattern then you have the normal planks the normal stairs and slabs then we have the button door which it's all right fence gate pressure plate sign and the trap door and that's all the bamboo stuff i believe this fence kind of just looks like a stick of bamboo also can i just say if i make a new world and i look at the creative menu it looks like based on i want to say my suggestions they have resorted out the entire inventory the ordering for blocks is stupid it's all making sense now and i just want to say like this game has been out for like 10 years i make a video in which i complain about the inventory and then it gets fixed in the next update yeah okay i'm joking i'm literally joking of course of course i haven't seen my video anyways the next thing i want to get is a calibrated skulk sensor i know it has an amethyst crystal in it i'm hoping the crafting recipe is just this thing with a crystal so if i get that and maybe a crystal it should be the most logical thing it comes up i think i got it and there it is that looks pretty crazy i don't know how you would like build with that and there we go a calibrated skulk sensor i'm not gonna place it down this time i also need the new bookshelves which i think is called a chiseled bookshelf i thought it was like this it is why is it not in my thing okay yeah this is a chiseled bookshelf so pretty much i think it's literally like a decoration thing i can put books in specific areas i can take them out that's that's pretty nice i think oh my god why don't they drop i was gonna say i think you can use this for redstone as well which is pretty cool i guess we'll fill it up in the museum i think it has i don't know i'll just bring the books okay we have the calibrated skulk sensor and the chiseled bookshelf which we're gonna put some books in here make it look all pretty there we go now the next thing we're gonna do is going to be a kind of a big project a new thing that they added is the pottery or decorated pots i guess it's called so you have these pots you think okay done you got it what you can do with these you can find these shards and then you can decorate each side of the pot to have different patterns now there are 20 different patterns that you can find you can find them in like desert temples desert wells uh ruins all this stuff i don't know if this is going to be a huge difficult task but i want to get all 20 different patterns so that we can put them all on Damn, that one drops kind of satisfying. Made me lose my train of thought there. We should have five different pots. Well, six. We'll have a blank one in there as well. We can put this one as the... 
Why does this keep happening to me? We should have five, four with patterns, one blank, and yeah, that's it. So the first thing we need is actually a brush, which is a new item, and I don't think it's here. I think we need copper, a feather, and a stick, I think it is. So yeah, I think it is just a stick, copper, and feather. Feather, there it is. We're gonna use this to excavate carefully uh, the suspicious sand. The sand is sus, the gravel is sus as well. And hopefully find some shards that we can use. I'll also get another box just for random random loot that we get. The first place we're going to go is to a desert because I believe there are five different types of shards we can get from a desert from the wells and the desert temples. Now I can't use the desert that I already have because I've been there. So yeah, I got to go make a new portal and go to a new desert. Okay. Once again, building a portal here should put us in a desert and we're here. I guess I'm just going to start by looking for desert wells and desert temples. Oh, there's a coral reef here too. Do the village wells count? Oh my God, there's a camel. I just, whoa, 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 whoa. This is new. That is so cool. Can I, oh, I don't have a saddle. I'm happy to just chill right here. Oh, there's a desert temple. We just got to look for it. I don't know. Maybe they're just randomly put. I oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Is that a pottery shard? I think it is. Yo, first try we get one. That's nice. Brush a suspicious block to obtain a pottery shard. What well, should? I'm, I'm going to say shard. I'm going to say shard for the whole video. We got the skull pottery shard. That is the first one. So here's what I want to do. Check if there's another pottery shard. No, that's TNT. Oh, there's another one right here. Is that a pottery shard? I think it is. I think it is. I don't think we have this one. The archer pottery shard. Okay, that's already two. Is that a diamond? Okay, I don't want the diamond. Here's what I want to do. I know this was working when the snapshots were a thing. I don't know if it's still working, but if I put soul sand here, I'm going to do like a bubble column going here. Hopefully, I break this and they bounce. And what's going to happen, hopefully, this gives me the suspicious sand as an item. Oh, it worked, it worked, it worked. Look at this, suspicious stand. This is this is broken. We're not supposed to have this. Yeah, so now we can put that in the museum. That is a block that you literally can't even... Or you're not supposed to get. You definitely can get it. Is this another pottery shard? It looks like it. I hope we don't already have this one. This is the miner. I don't have this. I think I just need one more from the desert temple. I don't think there is another room in this temple, which is okay because we're literally on the first one. So I guess we go to a new one. We might as well get the loot that's down here as well. All right, we got another temple here, starting with a suspicious stand and it's a pottery shard. Hopefully, I think we already got this one. Yeah, we do already have this one. Oh, is this it? Is this it? I feel like I don't have this. Prize, I think that's the one we need. Damn, that was easy. My goodness, that's already all the desert temple ones. I'll finish cleaning this out, but yeah, that is already all the desert temple ones. Oh, wait, yo. Smithing template, June armor trim. Interesting. I have, I have like, I know about the pottery stuff, but the smithing templates is not in my knowledge right now. But yeah, that is definitely something I'm going to hold on to. I think I see a well over here. Yeah, I guess we have less chances to get stuff here since, is that a pottery shot? No, it's a stick. I think less to explore. Is that really it? Oh no, there's a little more. There's one more chance for us. And I think that's a pottery shot. And there's two that we need to get. So that should be one of two. That is the arms up pottery shot. Let's see here. Can we get Get it? This is a pottery shard. Is this the one we need? I think it is. I don't think that's the arms up one. So that is the brewer. Yeah. I think that's all the desert ones already done. Now, the next place we're going to get some shards is in a warm ocean. You know, those ocean structures that spawn here and there, they have pretty garbage loot. I can't lie. Well, they have pottery shards in there now. And I believe since this is a coral reef, that this should be a warm ocean as it is. So we should be able to find some in here. Also, I'm going to grab this. This should be like a horn. Oh, yo, sentry armor trim. Is that a good one? I don't know. But yeah, there should be three new pottery shards that I can get out of the warm oceans. Start with this one. And it's a pottery shard by the looks of it. That is the angler pottery shard. That's one. That's one. That is shelter. I don't have that. This one. Oh, this could be it. No, it's not. What is? Oh, a sniffer egg. I was going to say, what the hell is that? I got to put this in the museum, but I don't know if it's going to hatch or not. Is this it? I don't think I have this. I don't. Snort pottery shard. Nice. So I guess the next thing to get is the cold ocean stuff. There's actually four different pottery shards in the cold ocean. We also have the suspicious gravel here. So I think I might wait to get that out of the ruins because I got to go to some archaeology ruins anyway. This will be the first one. Blade pottery shard. I don't think I have this one. That is the explorer. That looks new. Morning pottery shard. That is new. Just need one more. I'm dying here. Oh, we got it. My brush broke and I'm literally dying, but we got it. Yeah, so the last place we need to go is to an actual archaeology trail site, which again, I'm going to use chunk base to try find these because while it would be cool to find them on my own, today we're just trying to get all of them. So it wouldn't be efficient to just run around looking for them. So yeah, let's go to one now. Okay, here we go. And there are seven different shards that I can get from these. So literally all the rest are going to be from these trails. So yeah, we might as well start digging this thing out. It doesn't look like much at the moment, but this is going to go under 
ground and all that. That uh, should be good. And we wait. There we go. Suspicious gravel. And let's get digging. Here we go. This is the first one already. That is a friend pottery shard. And I think this is a different one too. Yep, the hard pottery shard. Another shard, or is that a brick? I think it's just a brick. Yeah, that's that's messed up how they did that. What is that? Is it armor trim? Yo, shaper armor trim. That's a new one. Who's that? A music disc. Yo, let's go. Maybe we can find a diamond in here. We can play it. That I don't think I have. No, that is new. Razor armor trim. Pottery shard, this is what I'm here for. And it's a new one. How pottery shard. What are you doing here? This is some troll. There's gotta be some troll. They're trolling me. They're saying you're not getting it, Luke. What's this? What's this? I don't have it. I don't have it. Burn pottery shard. There we go. What's this? What's this? I already have that. Oh, do I? Wayfinder armor trim. What's this? What's this? What's this? I have that. No, I don't. It's a broken heart. I thought I had it because it's a heart. Heartbreak pottery shard. We have one, two, three, four, five, two more. Yeah, I think that's everything for this trail remnant down here. So let's go to a new one. All right, here we go. Here's another one. Oh my God. What is going on here? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here, guys? You're looking for the pottery shards as well? Okay. Let's get going here. Do I have this? I don't have this. Chief pottery shard. Another armor trim. Oh, I don't have this either. Post armor trim. Is this it? I don't know what that is. I didn't have that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was literally at the entrance. I made a new brush and the first one was at the entrance. Okay. 9, 18, 19, 20. That's all, that's all of them. Yeah, not as difficult as I thought. So now we're going to head back to the museum and put these all together. Okay, so I guess we'll start just putting the suspicious sand and gravel there. It's pretty cool that we have this here and then we'll start with a blank pot right there and i believe to craft these you just get four of them or four is the maximum you can do less so it would be like this then and there's one so another achievement make a decorated pot out of four pottery shards and there we go so now we see the patterns on them which is actually pretty cool we got this one which is pretty interesting then another one i don't know what that is it looks like a sword that looks like the kids see ghost album art i have no idea oh that's a sniffer that's a sniffer this one we got the heart i don't know what that is it looks like a chest and a dog maybe a wolf and then lastly we got this one which is the fire not sure what that is a broken heart and a creeper by the looks of it that is all the parts all the different combinations you can do it's all on there well not the combinations but all the patterns are on there so the next thing we need to do is to get the two new flowers which can only be obtained by sniffers digging them up now lucky enough we did find two sniffer eggs while excavating and i don't think sniffers actually spawn naturally so i need to hatch these eggs the only thing is i don't know where to put these guys i think i want to put them near the base just so we have them if we need them i know if you put them on moss it reduces the growing time by 50 percent once i have two of them i can actually breed them with the seeds that these guys are going to dig up so i'll have i'll have i'll have, in, I'll have infinite uh sniffers eventually but yeah i am going to keep an eye on these guys until we get some sniffers Oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot they're going to be babies first. How long does it take for these guys to grow up? Why did I wait to them for them to hatch to realize I should probably build an enclosure because they're going to walk off? How am I going to get them in here? I can lead them. Problem solved. Now, how long does this take? 40 minutes. Oh my god. All right, I've decided we're gonna come back to that. I didn't realize I need 40 minutes to grow up. Here's what we're gonna do. There is a new piglin head in the game and I actually only have the skeleton head, meaning I also need to get the zombie and creeper head. I think finally long overdue, it's time to get a trident. I don't wanna build a trident farm. I'm literally just gonna look for these guys. I mean, I have 40 minutes to do so as long as I stay close by. But yeah, I'm gonna fly around looking for a trident and hopefully we get one and it doesn't take too long and I have to build a a trident farm because that would be quite possibly the worst i think finally oh my god it's almost broken too i found this area that pretty much i think it's just dug out so that drowns can spawn a lot but yeah they are just non-stop spawning in this area so that helped out but still we finally got a trident so just need to put some enchants on this one and then yeah we can get the mob heads finally Okay, so with the trident now, it has channeling, which means if I throw it, it's going to do a lightning strike if it's thunderstorming. If it was, this whole boat would burn. So I pretty much just have to wait until it starts thunderstorming to get those mob heads. Also waiting on the sniffers. I don't believe they're done yet, but those are the only two things I need. Those plants and the mob heads. There's just one thing I need to correct and I need some seagrass because the turtle legs we originally put in the museum must have been broken by a zombie that got in somehow. It's all lit up. He could have maybe fallen through the roof or something, but the fact Fact is a zombie got in there and took out total legs so i'm gonna just put in an item frame now now i just need one if the other two happen to grow up great but i assume a zombie will probably kill it and there we go good as new i'll just 
rotator there we go but yeah i guess i'm going to do a lot of waiting either i'll be back when it is a thunderstorm or i will be back when the sniffers grow up okay they grew up so i guess i just wait i don't think that i have to do anything did oh he did it he did it torch flower seeds nice 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 but there should be another one that these guys can dig up as well oh here we go here we go what are you digging up here Ooh. Oh, no, that's the same one. What is this? Pitcher pod. That is the other one we need. Now, I just need you guys to give me one more torch flower seed. Or maybe I can... I could probably bone meal it. I guess we'll try with the torch flower seeds. I'm hoping you can just put it down in a hoe. And there we go. Plant any sniffer seed. And then I guess we could probably bone meal it and then break it. Oh, wait. It just gives that. It doesn't give the seeds back. Wait, so this acts like a flower now? Oh, and I can place it anywhere. That is really nice. So I can't get the seed back. So I'll just, I'll just have to wait. Hopefully they give me another one. This one, I feel like it's going to be different, but we'll try the same thing. Yeah, and then bone mill it up. That is so pretty. Uh, I feel like this isn't going to break, but okay, there we go. Pitch a plant. And can I just put this anywhere? Can this bone mill? No, I can't. Well, there's the two plants. I just need to wait for these guys to dig up one more porch flower seed so I can breed them up and get the egg back. But in the meantime, I want to check out the armor trims. Now, while the ones we have are pretty cool, it made me looking into them. And now I want specific ones that we don't have so the three i want i'm gonna get from a stronghold a bastion and an ancient city which is not going to be easy but i think it'll be worth it so i guess we'll just head to the bastion first i think that'll be the easiest one of the three okay here we go now the one we're looking for is called snout starting off with a double chest that is it that's literally it we got another one i don't know what that is oh wait that's just the normal upgrade thing but real quick let's hop down and see what are in these chests another one nice netherite netherite gold i'll take all this iron another one more netherite let's head to a stronghold now and get that done okay so there should be a stronghold right here i just went to our desert portal because it is so far out and this is the closest one there we go so the one i'm looking for can be found in chest but apparently it's a hundred percent confirmed to spawn in the libraries so if i can get one of those that would be great oh there it is there it is so there it is the eye yep that's the one should be able to get another one by grabbing this this chest yeah there we go i guess i'm gonna grab these books but i'm gonna head off to a deep dog now so let's go oh pink sheep right next to a cherry blossom biome yeah there should be an ancient city right here now the thing is with this armor template it has a one percent chance of spawning so we might not get this okay here we go i'm not trying to waste time i'm just gonna grab them uh nothing there i will no i don't need that i'm just gonna fly in and grab the chest oh it's the ward armor trim i don't know what that is yeah the one i'm looking for is called silence which i'm not not really doing right now i think i've already been here so yeah i need to break these chests is that it no ward again the only issue is i'm a little low on food we got a double chest situation going on here nothing in there nothing in there grab this it's not in there. No, it's on. Oh, was it? Was it in there? I thought I saw something a little blue. Wait, is my thing supposed to be blue? Oh, no, that could have been it. I need to go back in there. For a 1% chance, I definitely need to go back in there. Silence. It actually was. It actually was. What the hell? 1% chance? Get me out of here. Are you serious? 1% chance? That's the one I want. I got a keen eye for that. Yeah, let me get get me out of here. That's all three of the armor trims I wanted. Straight out of the cave like that. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to base. Okay, there we go. I actually have a lot of these. I think there's only a couple I don't have. I got this one on the way back. I found it in a shipwreck. I heard that they could spawn in the shipwreck. So I was like, I might as well see. And I got two of them. So this is how we're gonna do it. I think this pattern looks nice. I want snout on the head, which is gonna look like that. It's Got this little blue thing on the side i feel like uh half of the head ones were too distracting so i like this one it has it like the stuff is on the side of the head which i think is pretty cool and then i want on the leggings i want the eye and that's going to be also blue i think this is a nice pattern wait it takes it yo wait was i supposed to duplicate these first can you do that and i was supposed to oh yeah i was that's actually oh luckily we didn't use the end city one yet yeah there we go okay we definitely should have done that first i probably wouldn't have used it again anyway i want redstone for this one switch things up a bit and and that is what it's going to look like. And look at us now. It's a little bit of a change. Nothing too crazy. And yeah, I think that, that's what we're going to be rocking for now. Come on. Let's go. Okay. So I'm going to breed you guys and you guys are going to give me an egg. There it is. All right. That's everything. Well, minus the mob heads. We're still waiting. But let's put these in the museum. Also, I forgot to put the cherry leaves in here. And I noticed there's a spot right over here. And we're going to put it right there. We got the pitcher plant, the torch flower, and the sniffer egg. There we go. So yeah, we just need the mob heads now i'm gonna come back right when we get a thunderstorm all right it is go time you heard that i just want to check the first thing i want to do is can you spawn a lightning bolt in the acacia biome or the savannah 
You can't, okay. That kind of throws a spanner in the works. Where's my trident? Where's my trident? No, why did it clear? That was like five minutes. That wasn't even five minutes, actually. It was like not even one. So, okay, my issue is if you take a piglin to the overworld, it's going to transform into a zombified piglin or a zombie pigman. So you pretty much have a really tight window for you to get this mob head. Otherwise, it's just going to transfer and it's not going to work. I need to camp out near a portal that's in the right biome because because you can't do lightning in the savannah, I'm realizing. Yeah, there's gonna be a bit more setup than I thought. Okay, it's go time, it's go time, it's go time. I got three charged creepers in boxes because I figured if I can just make them supercharged. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. I figured if I can make them supercharged, then it won't be as crazy of a time constraint. Pretty much we'll have plenty of time if we just have the creepers ready to go. There we go, that's another one. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Okay, okay, okay. I need one more, I need one more. Oh, I hit the green ball. Wait, no. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got two. We got two name tag. The thunder lasts like two minutes. All right, I guess we should work to get the piglin head first since that is the new update. Unfortunately, the one I had set up right next to the nether portal did not convert into a charge creeper. It's just a normal guy. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the zombie. Whoa, is a skeleton? No, I, I don't want a skeleton. I already have that. Wait, where's the creeper? Where is the creeper? Okay, this is literally like the only chance we got. Okay, come on. He can literally explode explode at any point because it's not three blocks high the issue is i also need to come through this portal so i'm gonna put him in a complete box if i can we gotta act quick because it's gonna convert to a zombie pigment really quickly so here we are this is the nether i got it in a crimson biome come through come through no he's got a he's got a bow yeah okay went through he went through please be on the right side don't be suffocating he's here he's here don't go back don't go back don't go back okay he, he hopped over the fence but no no he's gonna convert Dude, the time frame, the time frame that you have to do this in is insane. Or I bring the creeper in the nether, which I don't want to risk because thunderstorms are just so crazy. This is actually crazy. Oh, there's one right here too. That could work. That could work. That could work. This guy's got a sword. I think I got two in there. So the plan is I'm going to elytra under, pull the creeper out and go for it. Or just, just go for it. Just go for it. Oh my God. I think we got it. Please. Yes, let's go. Oh my god. What a flex. <laughs> I I went to I went to hold my totem and I changed my I took my chest plate off. I took my chest plate off and swapped it out for my elytra accidentally instead of holding on to the totem. Can I can I place it? Look at that. That is so sick. Now I just need to get the others. Jesus Christ. Well, we still got a creeper in here. Hopefully, thunderstorms and we get those done. Okay, it's thunderstorming. I figured out you gotta hit the mob to get the lightning. So there's one. We're gonna keep that uh nearby. I'm gonna get the guy that's in here as well. Oh wait, I let him out. Okay, that's that's fine. We're gonna blow up these creepers. There's a zombie head. Done, done, done. And I gotta find my guy that went over there. Hopefully, he stays as a charge creeper. I got no more name tag ones. So, whatever one's a charge. Yeah, there's one there. Okay. I don't want a skeleton, though. I need another creeper. Where's the creepers at? Okay, there's one over here. There's one over here. Oh, come here, come here, come here. No, no, no. God damn it. I got another zombie. Okay. I need to clear all of these zombies and the phantoms. Ah, uh, no. I got a zombie. Oh, there's one right there. This is it. This is it. This is it. You too. You too. You too. No, no, no. No! No, you blew up the wrong one! All right, this is it. Surely? Where is it? Oh, there it is, there it is. Let's go! <laughs> I cannot explain how difficult that was for me to do. Oh my God, we might as well get some more while we're at it. Oh, is it clearing? It's clearing. All right, well, it's all cleared up now. And the only thing left to do is to throw all these guys in the museum and actually officially call this done. Okay, here we are in the museum and they're gonna go right here. So we have the creeper head, the zombie head and the piglin head. And obviously we already had the skeleton head from before. So I believe it is upstairs. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, it's right here. So we already got that one. And that is all the mob heads and all the new items in the new 1.20 update in the museum, making our museum holding every single block in the game. All right, let's do this one last time. I built all seven of the wonders of the world in hardcore minecraft but just like in real life they are spread out all over my minecraft map making it extremely difficult and time consuming just to travel from one to another which is why i'm going to be building an airport in this video in the nether which is going to transform my nether hub into an airport we already built the more section of this airport where we have a bunch of shops as well as the entrance and the baggage claim area done already and after getting sidetracked again and again it's time to finish this because at the moment it leads to nothing so yeah it's time we get this airport built the first thing we need to do is grab a bunch of materials because this is going to be a big project and the first thing i need to get is even more quartz i have a bunch already but i need five more shulker boxes of course to get this done so we're just gonna get right into this and get this sorted let's go okay there we go a lot of quartz so the next thing i need to get is a bunch of concrete so let's go ahead and get that 
Okay, we have a bunch of concrete now. All of the colors that I would need. Next up, I need a bunch of birch leaves. I could have chosen easier leaf to get, but I just think the birch leaves look really nice in the nether. So let me grab those. Bunch of birch leaves. Now the rest of the stuff is just some random items here and there. So let's go ahead and grab those. Okay, I think I have literally everything I need now. This plus all the rest that's on the other side from the first time we started building this. Yeah, all of that should be enough. So we're going to start off with by building the security area. Because once you get through the mall and all the shops, you want to get your bags checked and into the terminals. So that's going to be over here and it's going to go out this way. So we're going to start. I'm just going to do the exterior and then we'll talk through the interior. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, there we go. Big connection now. I tried something different on this wall. Having like a pattern thing that kind of goes around in and out, like a wave type thing. I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think about it. But we got these angled roofs too. It's meant to be that sunlight goes through, but that's not really how I want to lay out the interior. The only place that actually works is right here. So the sun would go through. Also, we're in the nether, so there's no sun, but that's besides the point. I have to put these blocks here. Otherwise, gas will spawn, at least until I get all the stuff in here. But I want to put an information desk right in this spot here. And then maybe some lines here, like some, you guys know when you go in like a line there's like the ropes or barricades to direct you where to go so we're gonna put those here and then you got two arrows one's gonna be for people leaving the airport which will go this way and then one entering so you have two sides you walk through the scanners all that stuff and then over here some seats for people to sit down and then the terminals are gonna go all throughout this way because this is where we got the portals lined up so that's pretty much the plan it's a lot to take in but for now we're just gonna get the interior of the security checkpoint done and dusted so yeah let's get going with that All right, what y'all know about biophilic design though? This is the interior. So you start over here, we got the info desk, just in case you go through all this area and you, you don't really know what's going on. Then you can come up to the info desk and ask what's going on. And then you head over here, you got the lines. So you get the entry over here, you go through the lines. Assuming this would be pretty packed with guests once we open, of course. And then you go through here, you got to put your bag on the conveyor belt. It'll go through. Well, not actually, but it will. And then you got to go through the security checkpoint, which I don't really know if I want to do this. Let me just get rid of these guys. Yeah, you go through the light flashes are all good, no worries. And you get your bag on the other side. Look, it ends up over here anyway. And then you go through. We have this wall kind of separating the entry from the exit so that the arrows don't get confusing. Literally, no one is playing on this world other than me, but it's it's necessary. It's a requirement. But yeah, then you would go up these escalators right into, well, nothing at the moment, but there's going to be more shops and the terminals all the way down here. And then if you were to be exiting, then you would be going through here. We have seats or whatever. And then you have the same thing on this side for the exit, which ultimately leads right back out here. You grab your bag and out the door you go. It's all been designed perfectly, I would say. We also have this big board showing all the flight times, which ones are boarding, which ones are still getting ready. So that's the security area. And now we have to build the terminals. So yeah, like I said, there'll be a few shops here, which is pretty standard at airports. You have a couple shops at the terminals, not nearly as much as when you enter, but just a couple here and there. And then all the terminals with a bunch of seating, which you're gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna have like a dome for it. You guys will see. I think it'll look pretty nice. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, there we go. I think this looks pretty nice. So it connects to what we just built around here. The plan is you have each terminal where I got the sea lanterns in. They'll bridge off into those connecting things. Go what it's called. It doesn't matter. But I didn't put the floor in here because in the nether, if you have, I think it's a four by four platform, then gas can spawn. So if I would have put the platform in now, it's just going to be filled with gas. And that's not what I want because it's going to blow stuff up. So pretty much what I have to do is slowly build the floor bit by bit so that I can do the interior with it and I can cover up these four by four spaces. Now you may be thinking, why didn't you do it over here? Well, this is not a nether waste. It's a warped forest, which means glass can't actually spawn here. So all this is no worries. Same with the mall area and all the stuff over here. But yeah, once we enter over here, we turn into, I think from this point onwards here, yeah, nether waste. But in the meantime, yeah, I guess we better get the interior started. I think I'm just gonna start by doing this part here. We're just gonna have some shops here as you get up the escalators and then some seating all around right before you get to the terminal. So I'll do up to here and yeah, let's get going going. 
Okay, there we go. The last of the shops. No more shops after this. So you come up the escalators. Same stuff down here as before. You got another tree and then a bunch of seating all around. Just for anyone waiting for their flights. Uh, more seating, more seating. And then we got three. Actually, no, that's four shops. If anyone can guess what these four are, then I've done my job right. But yeah, we got four more in here. Because usually when you go to an airport, you got all the shops in there. But then sometimes there's some on the way to the terminals. And then there's going to be all the terminals down here. So pretty much what I have to do now is just copy these seatings with some information desk at each terminal all the way down to the end so that there's plenty of seats for people to come and wait so yeah i guess that is what i'm gonna do now and that should finish the interior part of this but from the outside it starts to like look a lot better once you have the interior in here but yeah once this goes all the way through it'll look a lot better so yeah that's what i'm gonna do right about now Okay, there we go. All the terminals are now in the airport, which looks pretty nice. Like I said, we got the check-in areas. Well, it's not really a check-in, just like there'll be someone here. I guess they scan your boarding pass and then you go through the doors, which will end up being a plane. This guy's got his boarding pass already. And yeah, a bunch of seats everywhere. In this area, down the back over here, we have these rubbish bins because if I were to get rid of these, ghosts will spawn. I, it's a five by five. And luckily the trap doors here and the rubbish bins make it just four. So yeah, that, that's gonna solve that problem and make sure all the rubbish is put correctly in the bins at the same time. But yeah, we got a bunch of terminal numbers and also a little detail. These colors are the same ones that we did right up at the entrance. Oh, I never put the sign up. Yo, I gotta put the sign up. There we go. That looks a lot better. But yeah, the colors of these are the same ones in the terminal. So it all links up and it's starting to come along. Like I, I can fly through here and it's all complete. Now here's the difficult part. This airport needs a runway. At the moment, it is just bedrock and that looks so ugly. We're not gonna do that. Which means we'll draw like a huge square around this whole thing which is why i needed that wool farm a couple videos ago thanks to that i have a bunch of carpet and this whole thing is going to be covered in carpet however since i can't break the bedrock i want at least one block of building space so one block up so i'm gonna have to put a whole layer of netherrack and then the carpet on top of it i chose netherrack because i think it'll be easy to get i haven't got it yet i got like two shulker boxes that's it but yeah i gotta cover this whole area so yeah uh i'm gonna get mining for the netherrack i guess it's gonna take some time but let's go all right, that is all of the netherrack that we should need. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. But now is the tricky part. I need to place all of it. Oh, this is going to take a minute. Yeah, better get started. All right, let's go. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We have what is beginning to be a runway here. Now I've left a bunch of spots just here and there because I'm gonna put planes there, obviously. And those are the locations where I wanna put them. I have a bunch of planes, it's gonna fill up nicely. This took like six hours to do. Who would've thought placing this much netherrack and cupboard would take that long, but it's done now. And that's like the main things of this project. Also, we got another totem pole going on here. Empty shulker boxes everywhere you could look. I'm gonna start off now. I'm just gonna build one of the planes just to show you guys kind of the idea of what I'm going for here. And then we'll do the rest of them and get them all situated in here. So yeah, let's do one of them. Okay, there we go. That's one of the planes. I think it looks all right. We have it connecting to the terminal there. How you would expect to do it. I'm just going to break in here. You go, oh, departing to Brazil. Let's go in. You go through here. This will be open. And then you go through the terminal here. And then you take a right. You're literally on the plane already. And uh, yeah, we got a full interior here. Lots of seats. Uh, we're going to light this portal here. This is where the portal is going to be. They're going to be hidden in the plane. So you can't really see them from the outside. Yeah, that's going to connect to Brazil or the Christ the Redeemer wonder. And then we have a bathroom at the back right here. Yeah, that's pretty much the plane or how they're going to be. Each one's going to have a portal link into the wonder in here and then we'll do an extra one for just our base like the pirate cove because we're gonna want to have a portal there and then hopefully by the end of this it'll look pretty nice but yeah i think the interior looks nice too and we we can finally see the interior of this as well i think it looks a lot better there's really no point building anything if it doesn't have an interior it's like you're just building it to look at it like you want to interact with it but yeah anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get all the other planes in here and fill up this airport it's gonna look like a real airport by the time i'm done with this so yeah let's do it <laughs> Alright, look at that. It's starting to come along. We got a lot of planes in and now some are even taking off. Yeah, I tried I tried doing like the cobwebs as like the motion because we have two portals. One is to the Great Wall and one is to the Coliseum that just need to be back here because it's too far away and I'm not going to extend the runway that far. And yeah, we got portals back here going to those. But yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. Looking like the quality control album art. But it's starting to fill up and there's a few spaces I've left still. I'm going to put a bunch of luggage cars just around here just to add another element to it and then a control tower over here. Well, like 
communicate, saying where the planes can land and stuff. But yeah, we're pretty close to finishing this. There's not much left to do now. So let me get those done real quick. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Oh my god. Oh my. Right at the treasure. There must have been a thunderstorm. What the hell? Stop, 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 stop. That is dangerously close to the boat. Oh my god. All right, there we go. We got a bunch of luggage cars now. I think they look all right. You know, someone driving around, taking the backs of the planes. And then we have a communications tower over here. Oh, uh, you just go through in here and all the way to the top. You get to this area. You got a bunch of switches and buttons, you know, communicating all that stuff with all the planes. I think it looks nice. But next up, what we have to do is we have this area around here. I'm going to continue the carpet around here. I already built a luggage carpet. I'm going to continue the carpet through here. And then this area right here, we're going to put some old planes. So pretty much like old wooden planes that they would have retired. It's no longer in use. Just kind of like a storage thing. Just to fill up this area, I think it'll be nice. And then it'll pretty much connect all the way around. And this area won't look so awkward. And then, yeah, we'll put like a fence around it and some bushes. It'll look nice. But for now, I'm just going to put the planes here and get that going. So, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> And there we go. We got two old fashioned planes in here now. I think they turned out all right. It's definitely different to what we built over at the runways. You got a little seat here if you want to, if you want to pilot it. I don't know. I don't know how accurate this is, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a fence around this entire thing because we don't want people just walking into the runway or into the airport. Like this is a high security area. We'll put an electric fence on here. We'll redstone power it. We're not going to do that. We can imagine it's redstone powered. It's going to go all the way around the airport. I got some cobwebs will look like an electric fence. It'll look great. So let's do this real quick. Okay, there we go. We have a full electric fence all the way around the airport. I think it nicely closes everything in. Like it's all like tight, boxed in. It looks good. High security now. You got to go through the security checkpoints. But the last thing I want to do now is I want to extend this road that we have here. We put it here when we build the mall. It's at the front. And we're going to extend it all the way around so that it follows all the way around the airport. So you can drive around. Otherwise, there's no point in having, there's no point in having the road. And then I think that'll make it look better than just having this and then straight into the nether roof. It's, it's not a good transition. But then on top of that, what I'm going to do is add some land landscaping on the outside of it so you'd have the road here and we're gonna have some bushes just on the outside here and i think that should work in transitioning this a bit better because at the moment it just looks like i don't know it was just thrown here which i guess it'll still look like that but it'll be better it'll be better yeah i guess there's nothing left to do but finish off this airport let's go <laughs> There we go. I think this just tops it off. Like it doesn't look as crazy as it did before. It looks like it's all it's all like meant to be there. It looks nice. I think it looks nice. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, Gus will be able to spawn there, but I think it's okay. But yeah, that is the airport. That is every area complete now. My entire vision for this, and it's all connected to the portals. And it finally, I can actually say this time, it's we're done with the wonders. Like that project is complete now. It's all done. Oh, I also added some trees at the front, just because it, it's the entrance. I think it looks nice. And then I assume if anyone wants to get to the area you got like a switch here i don't know but yeah that is it that is the whole airport interior is all complete all the way through i've been playing minecraft for a long time now and i can't tell you guys how many times i've opened up a new world built a base grabbed some rails and built a theme park except i never actually built the theme park i just built like one roller coaster and left it at that but that all changes today because we are in the hardcore world where we get everything done and it's time to start a brand new project and as you could probably lead on by now i'm going to be building a theme park where are we going to build this you ask well if we go to the taj mahal just over here and we fly past it this way there's a really nice planes that I definitely didn't grab grass from before, but a pretty nice area that we can transform into a huge theme park. And what better way to start off by building the Disneyland castle? Or the, or the Cinderella castle, but like, I've never watched that movie, so title's gonna say Disneyland Castle. And that's what we're gonna build in today's episode. It's gonna be like the heart of the park. The first thing you see, it's gonna surround all of the roller coasters, and it'll look really nice, hopefully. But in order to do this, we need a bunch of materials. And that starts off with getting a bunch of concrete. So let's go ahead and grab that. <laughs> Okay, this should do it. It's really not that much this time. And thank God I didn't build with quartz. But I need a bunch of stones now, so I'm going to grab those. All right, that should be good. Got a bit of everything in there, and I just need some wool. And lucky enough, we have this machine of a wool factory over here, which should have us covered already, I hope. I need white and blue wool, so... Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do some AFK. That's fine, though. This thing is a machine. It'll be done in five minutes.
Okay, that should actually be it. Not that much materials for this one. Well, it is a lot, but in terms of variety, it's nothing too crazy. Now, the last thing I need is a bunch of honeycomb, but this is not something I have a lot of. If you guys remember a while back, we built a bee farm, but it was actually just a honey bottle farm. So if I look in here, yeah, it's just honey bottles and I think I'm out of bottles. No, it's literally just not working that well. I, I think I just have one beehive hooked up to this. So it, yeah, it's, it's not it's not doing anything too crazy. But in terms of honeycomb, I just been grabbing it from these guys, but I need a bunch of honeycomb because I want to build with copper, a little bit of copper in here. But in order to keep it in this nice orange state, we need honeycomb. So yeah, I'm going to build a better bee farm or a more honeycomb farm. And I've already got all the stuff to do it. So yeah, let's just do that real quick. And I think instead of building this underground where the actual nether is, I'm just going to put it in here because I didn't put anything in here. Yeah, the ground part here, I didn't. So I think this could be a good spot. And also it'll kind of be running when I'm in here anyway. So yeah, let's go ahead and build this real quick. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, yeah, it's working. It's working. It might be... Oh, you got out. I mean, that's fine. I think we got enough bees in there anyway. Maybe he'll go back in before he grows up. But yeah, this this should be working fine. This design is by Ilmengo. It is not my design. So links in the description, obviously. Check out his video. It gives a good explanation on how it works. But yeah, I'm gonna sit here. I need like three stacks and then we should be good to build this castle. I think it's gonna look really nice. So yeah, let's just get the last of the materials here. Okay, that is definitely enough. I don't need any more than that. So that also means we have all the materials to build this castle. So let's head over to the area and get started with building this. Okay, so to start this off this area is already fairly flat but i want it to be better than this like stuff like this just get rid of it so yeah we're gonna flatten this out make it all smooth so we can just throw the castle on top so yeah that's what i'm gonna do real quick <laughs> Okay, there we go. It looks a lot better now. I probably wouldn't have had to do this if I didn't use this area to just grab a bunch of grass before. And also, I'm just gonna get rid of it when we build the rest of the park. But for now, we want it to look nice. We don't want it to be floating or anything of that sort. So it's gonna look nice for now. It'll probably be gone rid of in a couple of weeks, but that's besides the point. Now, what we're going to do is start the actual castle. So I'll throw some images up. What we're gonna do is the kind of ring around it, the lower part of it. It's like a gray wall going around with some towers just to get it going here. And I've already laid out kind of the path or the shape that this is going to be. It's going to be this so that you can walk through the middle right here. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Get those towers in around the edges and yeah, hopefully it'll look good. So yeah, let's go. Okay, there we go. We got the startings of a castle here. I guess it would be like the defense part of it. So people can't just walk in. You gotta go through the main entrance because this isn't actually gonna be connected to the castle. The main part is gonna be like here. So you have this separation here, but yeah, I think I think it looks okay. I don't know why some of the towers don't have flags. We'll see that when I build the rest of this, but it's kind of weird. Some do, some don't. I, if it was up to me, I'd just put it on all of them. I think it looks nice. But regardless, I think this is coming along. So we're gonna continue this and start building the main part. We're just gonna start building it up. And yeah, I'm gonna just gonna go for a bit and then we'll come back with a progress update and hopefully we would have made some decent progress so yeah let's do it Okay, we got a bit of progress going on here. Already someone living in here. I don't know what kind of character this guy is. We have the archers going through here. So eventually I do want to add that you can go through these doors, but for now you can't. And I'll probably fix up the roof as well to make it like curves because it, it doesn't look that good. But you can go right through the middle, which is nice. And then we have this area here. Again, I haven't actually seen the movie. I assume this is like the bedroom and then you come out here and then you got the view. It's going to be so nice when we have like the whole park going down there. Bunch of roller coasters. It'll look really nice. But next up, this is going to continue going up like kind of a triangle thing there out of the blue wall and then these parts are going to come up and start creating towers it's going to look pretty nice in the actual castle these parts are like pinkish kind of colors but i just think this will look so much better just trust me on these guys it look better but yeah with that i guess i'm going to continue building this we'll do some more progress and we'll see where we're at so yeah let's go All right, there we go. A lot more progress now. It's got the shape I was talking about. We got a bunch more little like balcony areas that we could link up once we do the interior and a bunch of like doors that we could actually make doors because at the moment they are not. And then on this side, this, this, I love this so much. It's kind of got like a slight curve to it. Like it's got a curve, but it doesn't. It's like smooth. I don't know. I don't know why this works, but it does. But yeah, a bunch more balconies and doors just adding onto the walls here. And then we're starting to build more towers going up. This looks pretty established at the moment, but it, as you guys 
guys have seen the castle before, it's going to go a lot higher than this. Probably like double the height. So I still have a lot of work to do. And that is what I'm going to continue doing. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get this done. Let's go. Okay, uh, I kind of just finished it. It looks really nice though. At least I think this looks really nice. It takes two rockets to get to the top of this thing. There are so many doors, balconies, little areas you could walk along, get a nice view of not much at the moment. But again, imagine it with the theme park around it. It would be really nice. But yeah, a lot of towers. I think the copper was a nice addition. And going with the wool and the white terracotta, I think it looks a lot nicer than it would have. However, there is one thing missing. And if you guys have ever watched any Disney movie or anything to do with Disney, you know that whenever you see this castle oh my god you can see right through it like that whenever you see this castle there is a shooting star that goes all the way around the top and we don't have that uh we got some stars but the, it's not the same so i've got a bunch of glass that i gathered over here yeah and we're gonna make it look so pretty i got sea lanterns as well that's the finishing touches and i'm gonna put that on right now let's go <laughs> I think that just puts the finishing touches on this it's the icing on the cake it's it, it's really good but yeah that's the whole castle i mean the only thing missing which i would like to do is the interior yeah we have a lot of space which is good because there's a lot of opportunity here i'm just not entirely sure what i want to put in here yet i was thinking though oh my god with the flame bow guy started his let's play and got enchants but i was thinking what if we get the roller coaster or one of them to come through the castle like that could be a whole thing i think would be really cool but yeah there's a lot of opportunities if you guys have any ideas let me know but this whole area take a good look it's gonna be completely transformed into one of the greatest things you've ever seen in minecraft but look at this i think this turned out really nice i'm currently building a huge amusement park in minecraft except i have no rides we built this massive castle but the, the it's in it's in the middle of nowhere so this must be fixed today starting off with a plan and that should do it i want to start by planning an entire moat around the castle so that it's accurate it should it should have a moat around it filled with water and then we'll have a bridge coming through the front here a central area here where we have like a plaza and then paths going in every direction from there from here the back of the castle is going to have paths here going into the mountain we'll have rides going into the mountain which i think will be really cool then some more going this way through the village and then over here so the entrance is going to be down at the bottom over here which means we need to fill this place with rides now i already have ideas for rides going here 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 and then a ferris wheel over here which i think will be really nice at the entrance but there's still a lot of space which leaves it up to you guys i want rides here 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 and one here right at the entrance and i want you guys to suggest what these rides are going to be they could be real life existing things or just random ideas that you guys think of and i'm going to be taking these suggestions from my discord linked in the description so make sure you guys join and suggest some stuff because it could end up in the world but today we're going to be focusing on this ride right here and as you guys have probably seen by the title this is going to be the deadliest ride in minecraft so the first thing we better get started doing is getting a bunch of materials for this because we're going to transform this whole area over here so yeah let's go ahead and grab some stuff <laughs> Okay, this is actually everything now. It took a bit. There's a lot of random stuff in here, but I think it'll look nice. So let's head over and start working on this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do to get started here is just lay out the paths. So I'll just do it on this side of the castle since that's where we're going to be working today. And we'll have one running all the way over this little ravine here. I don't even know what this is. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We're starting to get a layout here, which is the plan. And you may be thinking, what is this big circle in the middle? Is it some alien language symbol to the gods? No, it's literally just going to be a circle. Kind of like a central plaza thing where you have the castle right here. I think it'll look nice. And then we're going to do some gardens here. And we're going to put a big poppy right here like that. Except it, it, it'll be bigger than that. So yeah, I might as well just build that now. So yeah, let's go. Picture it, right? You're walking up and then bam. I guess it kind of blocks the castle that way, but like if you just walk to the side of it, it's all about perspective. I think that looks really nice. And then we'll have like roller coasters going all the way in the background, like setting a background here. But now I guess we better get started on well, almost building the roller coaster. We need to fix up this terrain because I'm not just gonna throw it down on this. It's gonna look ugly. So what I'm thinking for the actual ground, we're gonna have like concrete powder, then green wool, and then concrete powder, and then green wool on and on again. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of cover this area and that stuff, or the area that we're gonna be working with today. So yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. 
All right, there we go. Yeah, I left a big spot in the middle here because I'm going to change it up for where we're going to build the roller coaster today. So since it's going to be the deadliest roller coaster, instead of doing green, wool, and concrete, it's going to be gray. And I think it'll look a lot better. Kind of puts on the deadly vibe, you know, whatever that means. But yeah, we also left a gap here because there's going to be a mode going around the castle. But I think for now, what I'm going to do is put in the gray flooring over here. And I'll also start building the framework of the roller coaster, kind of like where I want it to go, all the twists and turns before we put all the like pretty stuff on it. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. there's pretty much a track here it looks small but it's not going to be so you start here uh, i don't have a minecart on me i don't think it would work anyway but you go up here we're gonna put some poison potions in here so that you go on this whole roller coaster on half a heart or at least close to it for most of it oh my god but you're gonna go up here through here i'm gonna have some arrows that shoot at you as you're going up this part then around here all the way to this drop and you're gonna go down into a cave system down there and then come up over here go around here up and then drop again through there we're gonna go we're gonna build something over there which you guys will see and then we'll end up back at the start it will be a lot there's a lot of stuff to do still and we're gonna start it here pretty much at the start i'm gonna sort this area out so we'll get all these traps set up i already made a bunch of poison potions so we can stock this up right here but what i want to build right here is a giant warden because we're gonna use skulk sensors to activate these ones that shoot at you and i think it would be fitting it'd be pretty scary too it's supposed to be the deadliest ride guys and then we'll sort out the rest after that so i already have all the stuff so let's go ahead and build this oh my god i need to stop building these holes all right let's go let's go Okay, that's starting to come along. And you notice some arrows here. We kind of have a dangerous spot right here. I'll show you guys. But that's the warden. And we're going to put some stuff in there that's going to be pretty dangerous later on. But let's just go on a ride right now. As it is, we start here. We push a button. We go up here. Splash with the poison too. And we're going to get shot with these arrows. Well, we'll get missed because we don't actually want to get hit. And then through the warden. And then it's going to go off this cliff right here into the cave. It's it's starting to come along. I landed on the chicken. But yeah, it's just hitting that one spot on the pathway. So hopefully no one's walking past. Yeah, then we go inside the warden i want to put some creepers here though so that when you get here you go through and then like they're gonna charge up pretending that they're gonna explode but by the time you get through they're not gonna explode but i will do that last because i do not want them blowing up as i'm building the rest of this but yeah i think this turned out all right but next up i guess we're gonna have to start digging out this area so i'm gonna dig out the area and then kind of explain what i'm gonna do down there so yeah let's go all right i got the path laid out now you're gonna come through on this roller coaster fall down right into this cave what we're gonna have here is kind of like a mine shaft area it's a bit basic i know but we're gonna have have creepers similar to where we have in the warden so as you're falling down midair in the minecart all these creepers look like they're about to explode but they won't explode obviously and then you keep going down here and then eventually you'll go underwater so then for this whole part through here it's gonna be like oh man i'm, I'm about to drown so you gotta hurry up and then you're gonna go through a shark's mouth here i got a lot of ideas guys and then through here is the exit right back up another cave up until you get back here and then right back on the track it's a lot of stuff but i think this is gonna be pretty cool i just gotta make it all look pretty or well, prettier than this at least so yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do. Let's go. Right, check this out guys so we go down here you're gonna fall through there into this mine shaft area i actually want to put some minecart chests right here yeah yeah so then you always have a minecart going around here you're only gonna see this for like 1.5 seconds before you hit this track and then you come down here through the lava i've accidentally walked in this like four times and then into the water because minecarts can go underwater now so that's a great thing and it's going to continue through this way to the shark you get this uh sh shrieker look the shark is not my best work but you're only gonna see it for like one second and then you go through the teeth here you think you're gonna go straight it turns left through another cave and then back out the top and then you'll be back on the track over there but yeah there's another drop here i plan to actually put like flaming hoops that you go through for each of these drops i think it'd be pretty sick but at the moment what i want to do is build a giant volcano here yeah so the plan is you go into the volcano you get shot out the top and then back on the track over here crazy redstone i'm gonna have to figure out but that is the plan it's gonna fill this area right here and I'm gonna build it right now. So yeah, let's go. All right, look at that. Actually, the second volcano we've built on this world. This one, not as impressive, but it's just for the theme park. So it's all good. So the plan is, like I said, you go through here. We'll have a bubble column right here shooting you up. And you should end up around about here. And we're going to spit you out right back on the track there. And I figured out a way how to do this. This is all through my brain. So if this is not the best way to do it, I don't actually care. If I don't do it myself, I'll never learn like redstone properly. So the plan is, you get in the minecart, you go through. That's going to activate the redstone going through there. And then eventually, it should time it perfectly to hit you back off the rail. It, it's full 
foolproof, guys. It's foolproof. But yeah, pretty much it just relays the signal up, up, up until you get to the piston. And I've just put a bunch of repeaters to time it right. So yeah, I'm gonna throw this in the volcano. And I'll also build a bunch of hoops as well. The flaming hoops I was talking about. Might as well do that now. And I'll be back once I got that done. Look at this. We got rings of fire to fall through now. And then if I did this right, then we should fall through here, go through the volcano, and get pushed out. Let's go. Oh, it works. Let's go. The timing was so difficult to get. So it's time to build the next thing. And what I'm going to build is a giant skeleton sitting here. Going to have his arms going on the tracks, kind of like the warden does. Yeah, it's going to look really nice. So yeah, I might as well just go ahead and do that right now. Okay, check that out. I think it looks pretty sick. You got like the hands coming out of the ground here. I ripped up the dirt and stuff, made it look kind of realistic. And then also when you're going to be riding the minecart over here, you're going to be going through this guy's hand right here as if he's trying to grab you as you're going. And we've got a lot of different obstacles in here now, which is starting to come along. But what I want to do now is add a bunch of trees in this area because like, there's a lot of open landscape here. So yeah, I think adding some trees would fill this in. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I think that ties everything together quite well with the theme of everything going on here. There's some things I want to add still, but for now, I think we're ready to put the creepers in here, which I'm a little nervous about. I got to name tag all of these guys as well, but I want three on this side, three on this side, and then one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, which is like 10. I don't know. I wasn't actually counting. It's like 10 creepers and the ones down there are going to be in such small spaces. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Yeah, we better get going here. All right, I got all the tools you would need. Okay, this is, dude, I don't want to blow up the stuff I've just been building. He's just gonna drop. Let's assume he does. Oh, why do you blow up so fast? I'm just realizing if that happens to any of the other ones while I have some in here, they're all just gonna die or get set free. So if I'm able to pull this off, I am insane. Oh no. I think I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh my god, we got one. Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is insane. Now it gets serious, because if this guy blows up, the other one's gonna be let loose or just die. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Should be good, should be good, should be good. I name tagged him. Oh my god, we got two. No, don't go that way. I could get him. He needs to be here and he's over there. Oh no, no. Oh, I think we're good, I think we're good. I think it's all good, guys. No, nope, he's in there. Okay, name tag. Gonna box you in. There we go. It's literally that easy. Bam, nice. Oh my god, that worked? No way. I got it, I got it. That's what I want, that's what I want. Like, he, he, he ignites, but he's not gonna blow up because it doesn't give it enough time. So imagine that times six. Uh, Yeah, we need more creepers. Go. I missed, I missed, I missed. Oh my god, he fell in. There we go. What is wrong with these guys? Oh my god. Did he, he went in. The zombie pushed him in, you legend! That. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where are you going? I got stuck on the thing! Oh my god, I got stuck on the vine! I'm actually mad. I'm actually mad. Why did he blow up? I'm done, bro. Oh my god, he's in, he's in, he's in. Yo, piss off! Okay, right? I got him. I got him. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna make this pretty again. So... Okay, that's good as new. And that's actually everything for the ride at the moment. I just want to pretty up the area a bit more before we test it out in full. And that's also building an entrance for this thing because at the moment, you kind of just jump the fence and go in here, I guess, and then throw the minecart down and you're gone. But that's not what we want to do. We need to have an orderly system. So we're going to build a giant pumpkin here where you walk through and then you go right to the fence here. Walk through to the minecart, which I've already kind of set up already. And then to exit, you're going to go through here, through here, and then we'll have an exit exit area over here see so, yeah, I just to make this kind of a system that actually works so yeah let's go ahead and do that okay there we go just a small pumpkin there i think it turned out all right i think this will make the exit so you actually enter through here i think that makes more sense you go through here i built some more trees these ones kind of look like they're dying a bit especially the small ones over here but, yeah you go through i guess you go on the right and you would come off about here and then go through out the pumpkin here i think this will be the exit and i guess with that the last thing i want to do was just connect this ride to the central plaza we built earlier just by adding some trees some bushes around here because realistically i'm not going to put anything here it's not a big enough space and it's not a small enough space to leave it just like this so yeah, we'll connect it with some trees. And then I think that should be the icing on the cake for this. We'll just have to test it out after. So yeah, let me go ahead and do this real quick. And 
there we go. It connects much better now. And actually, fun fact, this entire roller coaster, everything I built here is spawn proof. I don't think it's that obvious either. Like, you have the lanterns from the trees, but like everything else, even down in the caves, all this stuff down here, I guess you have the lantern giving it away, but it's all spawn proof. And that's also a goal I want to have for the entire park because I think it would be really cool if we could have this entire park safe at night where we could just walk around. Doesn't matter if it's day or night, you could just walk around, whatever. But yeah, we built a bunch more custom trees. I said I wouldn't do custom trees after the Taj Mahal, but if I do it slowly, I think I won't go as insane. But uh, I guess it's time to actually test this ride, make sure everything works. None of the creepers blow up or anything. I've stocked up all the arrows, all the poison. Uh, we'll take our helmet off to see the drowning thing. Actually, we'll take everything off. Yeah, let's see if we, we did this right. Everything works. And yeah, let's do it. Let's go. So we go up here, splash with the poison. Everything's working. We're going through the arrows. It misses us. It misses us. It doesn't get us. We're still getting hit with the poison. The creepers, they're about to explode. They didn't explode. You heard the sizzling. It did not explode. We're going to fall down here into the caves. The creepers are going to explode here as well. But they don't. And we're underwater on half a heart. And we are now drowning. It's insane. We're dying from all angles, guys. And oh my goodness, there's a shark. We're going to get swallowed. We're dead as hell. No, we're not. We're going through the back, right up the, up the cave, right back on the surface. I'm still on half a heart, though. If I get hit once, I am out of here. We're going to go through this ring of fire. Slows down towards the jump and then speeds up off of there. And then finally, we come to the volcano. We go up the chute. And hopefully, this time perfectly, we get pushed off onto the track and to the end. And the safe ride back to the end. If I get hit once, I'm literally dead. And it all works. Let's go. <laughs> Man, I really like how this turned out. There's a lot of cool stuff. It's kind, it's kind of fast paced. So there's always like something to be looking at, I feel like, which is good. But yeah, that's the first one of our roller coasters in here complete. And again, if you guys want to suggest any roller coasters to put in this park, we have so much room. Make sure to join up in the Discord and send some suggestions. But yeah, that is the deadliest ride in Minecraft. Uh, the deadliest roller coaster. And look at this, just in time for Halloween. R right? There are 110 different advancements in Minecraft. And on my hardcore world that I've been playing on for almost two years now, I've only got 79, which is not acceptable. We need to finish this list. And I want this done before day 3000 because we are getting very close. However, the advancements I'm missing are probably the most difficult ones. And we're going to start with Uneasy Alliance. Rescue a ghast from the nether, bring it to the overworld, and then kill it. What? Is, what is the point? Okay, the plan is we're going to build a massive nether portal. I have a bunch of obsidian. And then from there, we're just going to fishing rod this guy into the portal. Oh, this is a perfect spot. I hope this isn't too big i know it's like a maximum you can do yeah but it's too big okay is that better okay we can use this Guys, so close did you just kill the other one he was like three blocks away oh my god what a mess oh, i'm literally just gonna scare him in there what why did it break oh my god who is breaking it i'm getting trolled i'm getting trolled i'm getting trolled i'm getting trolled what I got the fireball. He's in, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's in. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I need to kill him before he suffocates, so he might suffocate because we're in a cave. Uh, hello? He just, he's just not here. Okay, this looks good, this looks good. Bro, bro, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? <laughs> hey, God. I'm losing my mind, I'm losing my mind, I'm losing my mind. Why didn't you go through? So done. I'm actually so done. I'm actually so done. Why are you not going through? Bro! Okay, I found this method on Reddit. I'll link it in the description. But this should work. If I go down here and then through the portal, we should have a gas on the other side. And I'm gonna get the spyglass achievement as well. There is a lot of gas. Yeah. Oh my god, that worked a little too well. How many is here? God. Yeah, I'm definitely linking that in the description if you guys want to use that. This was another one I wanted to get. Is it a balloon? Look at a ghost or a spyglass. Pretty easy one. I just thought we'd knock it out at the same time there. Yeah, I didn't really want to do like a farm for that. I kind of wanted to do it legit, like pull him into the overworld, but that just didn't work. So yeah, I had to build this thing. But our next up on the list is use a compass on a lodestone, which is really easy. Let's just do that real quick. All right, I just make this real quick and we'll put this right here and then bam. There we go. Easy done. Easy done. And next on the list is have every... Oh, that's, that's next on the list have every potion effect applied at the same time that's one of the hardest ones okay let's do some preparation here yo it's i just realized it's thunderstorming we need to get we need to get a villager to turn into a witch i think it does i think there's a village this way no this way this way this way this way there's definitely a village this way and you're dead it just did not work what the heck maybe i was in the wrong biome for a second 
There we go. We turned him into, into a witch. All right, yeah, cool. I had to knock that one off before we sit around waiting for thunderstorms later on. Okay, this should do it. I think this is everything. I'm also going to set up a beacon. Well, I already have one set up in here. We can set this to resistance and regen. And then hopefully I didn't miss any and this is all the potions. So yeah, let's try this out. We got speed here, night vision, strength, slow falling, fire resistance, water breathing, leaping. My stomach's going to be crazy after this. Slowness, weakness, regen. Regen, invis, and poison. Hey, we did it. Damn, I, I should have brought a milk bucket, to be honest. That is a lot of potion effects. They just stack on top of each other. Damn, okay. Well, that's done. Honestly, I thought it would be more difficult. I thought you needed the dolphin and all that, but turns out you don't. It's just the potion effects, not all effects. But anyways, next up on the list is charge a respawn anchor to the maximum, which is pretty easy. But I do need to hurry up because we're already on day 2,926. We have less than 80 Minecraft days to finish these off. Okay, I just need to make this. I'm pretty sure it's like this. Yep, there we go. And then we fill it up with glows. Oh, is it? with the actual blocks it is okay i need more and there we go easy as that uh i don't need the respawn though because i mean if i die it's it's done anyway next up on the list is rider strider with a warped fungus on a stick oh yeah i just need to throw a saddle on this guy and then hop on and then doesn't work oh there we go i have to right click however the next advancement is pretty difficult i need to bring this rider to the overworld and then ride it on a lava lake like 50 or so blocks first let's head back and find a lava lake i think that'll be easier okay this should be perfect and hopefully this puts us at the bottom and doesn't link with any of my other portals uh we can work with this i'm just gonna move this directly below now hopefully this links up perfectly so if i go through here nice okay nice now i just need a strider and i guess this guy will work and let's go i think if i just go here he goes through if i get off hopefully he doesn't suffocate in the portal i think they fixed that actually yeah okay now i just need to ride this guy 50 blocks but yeah any second now we should be getting that achievement there we go now that actually completes all of the nether achievements so we're moving on to advanced and the first one we're going to do in here is look at a parrot through a spyglass. Now, lucky enough, I have a jungle literally right next to my base. So all I need to do is just find a parrot. You are not a parrot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Stand still. There we go. Easy as that. Next up, look at the ender dragon through a spyglass. We are going to save that one for later because there's some other end ones that we have to do at the same time. So we're going to come back to that one. But we can do this one, which is kill a skeleton from at least 50 meters away. The classic achievement. Now, I think where we're building our amusement park, which I will work on next episode, is a perfect spot to get this achievement because there is a lot of open space. I wonder if that's 50 blocks. Oh, we hit him. Oh, literally first try. Maybe it counts high. That doesn't seem like it's 50. Okay, easy as that. Next up, we need to do pretty much the same thing, except this time only 30 blocks away and with a bullseye. All right, this should be 30 blocks. So all I need to do is just hit the target. It's going to be difficult to see with the flame arrows if I'm even getting close to this. So yes, yeah, I can't even see the target anymore at this point. Oh, I got it. Let's go. I had to clear it. It was getting, it just looked like a ball of fire at some point. Moving on to the next thing, which is kill every hostile monster. I'm only missing two and I have an idea of what one will be, but the other one, I have no idea. So I'm assuming one of them is the Zoglin, where you bring a Hoglin into the overworld and it turns to a Zoglin. I don't think I've done that before, so I assume I haven't killed it, but the other mob, I have honestly no idea. Okay, I'm hoping this isn't too difficult and I just need to build a portal and he's going to go through it. Yeah, let's find a Hoglin. Why you gotta stop the heck are you serious what's going on yo are you scared of that yeah they were damn that's a minecraft knowledge minecraft trivia right there come on come on come on there's no way they fit in a boat maybe the baby though okay that works okay he's in he's in he's in yeah surely he transforms there's no way he doesn't no skeleton he's mine he's mine he's mine oh okay i got it i got it i got it i think the baby should count yes it did okay i knew i wouldn't have done that mob yet okay i think the last one actually might be a stray just from my knowledge of playing on this world i don't think i've killed a stray before okay so i think where i usually get gravel there is an ice biome yeah that should spawn strays here yeah definitely definitely just gotta wait for it to be nighttime here we go here's one and this should do it there we go. We have now killed one of every hostile monster, which means we can move on to the next advancement, which is read the power signal of a chiseled bookshelf using a comparator. Should be pretty easy. Let's just head back to the base. Okay, all I need is a comparator, and then we should have a chiseled bookshelf at the museum already, considering this has every block in the game. And all we need to do is put a block and then a comparator. That is literally all it takes. So then, moving on, we need to summon an iron golem to help defend a village. We can do that easily. We actually live at a village, and if you guys remember back in like the second episode, of the series there was an iron golem here that helped us defeat a raid so i guess this is doing it a favor we already got a memorial for it up there but we can have one helping out 
in its uh in its spirit. You you need to live up to that guy's name. He was he was very great. But yeah, moving on. Next, we need to trade with a villager at the build high limit, which I guess the best way to do that would be to make another nether portal. And since I don't want to link it to the portals in my base, we're gonna head to a new village and do it over there. Okay, so if I just grab a villager and a boat and then build a nether portal right here, and then we go through here, and then we go back through and push him in. Hopefully he doesn't die. And then what I'm gonna do is break this portal, and then in the same spot, I'm gonna go all the way to height limit. 319. When was that increase? Who the hell is trading up here? Oh, I can still see the part of my hall from over here. Yeah, this should link. Hopefully. Yes, it did. Okay. Yeah, I guess we go for it. He just went in. Okay. Wait, he lost his job. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Don't go back. Don't go back. Don't go back. Barrel. That works. Let's hope he picked up the job. He did. He did. He did. Now I just need him to get up here. Come on, a little more, a little more. And Bruh. this should wait. Yo, why are you Oh my god, I brought emeralds, man. Come on, a little more. And that should do it. Let's go. Alright. Thank you very much. I said I said thank you very much. Just catch the scaffolding. You can shift on it and you'll catch yourself. He's fine. Okay, so what I need to do now, we're gonna knock out two in one now. Uh we need to fall and survive from here here to the bottom of the world so yeah we gotta go straight down okay this should be set up and there's no way we're not gonna water bucket clutch this like we're not flying we're not, we're not we don't have water at the bottom already we're gonna go right through this tree pierce the needle right there and then okay uh i didn't water bucket it but that's okay because we got the achievement anyway and next up to get is actually a tricky one we need to apply pretty much all of the rest smithing templates i already have two of them done on my existing armor but i'm gonna have to see if i have the other ones so yeah i'm gonna clean this up and then we'll head back to the base all right so with the silence and the snout already on my armor those two are done i already have the ward wayfinder and tide armor trims from my 1.20 video so that just leaves three more and we gotta go to the end to get one of them so let's head over okay so the first one we're gonna get is found in end cities so first off i'm gonna grab this up Elytra. Oh, we literally just found it. Nice. What the heck? That was easy. All right. Uh, on to the next one. All right. This one I need to get from a nether fortress. So let's find some chests. Oh, this is it. Oh, it actually is. Nice. We just need one more. So let's go ahead and grab the other one. I'm um, not there yet, but while I'm here, let me just grab some of these. Is there really no powder snow here? That's so awkward. Here we go. There we go. Walk on powder snow without sinking it. All right. Here we are. The last one I need to get from a woodland mansion. So let's just sneak in here and hopefully find one. Yeah, uh... They didn't have it. So let's head to a different one. And here we are at another one. Damn, bro, where is this thing? My luck is just, hey, we got it. Okay, I definitely did not need to burn this down. Yeah, it's kind of too late though. But yeah, now we have all of the armor trims we need to get this advancement. So let's just head back to the base and get it done. Okay, here we go. All we need to do, I've got this basic armor that I probably found from like end cities before. Just need to throw these on the armor. I've duplicated them already. Don't worry, guys. Not making that mistake again. Oh, wait, why am I using netherite? Yo, what a wait i forgot about that i don't know why i thought you needed another you can use literally anything what am i doing and this is the last one bam that's a tricky advancement guys i'm never gonna wear any of this though but anyways next up on the list is to jump into a honey block to break your fall pretty easy uh so then i guess we could put it like here and then land it there we go easy as that and then next one kill two phantoms with a piercing arrow i need to not sleep so we'll do that later and then give a pillager a taste of their own medicine so I think I just need to kill him with a crossbow. All right, here we are. They are literally at the entrance here. All I need is kill one and that should do it. There we go. It's easy as that. And the next one we need to do, we need to make the meadows come alive with the sound of music from a jukebox. So if we follow the Great Wall of China up here, I'm pretty sure this turns into a meadows. Yeah, right here is a meadow. So all we need to do is throw a jukebox down and throw a music disc in there. Now that actually does all the ones, at least for now on the adventure page. We still have to get the crossbow one, which we'll wait on for the sleeping, but we can do the energy dragon one now because we're moving on to the end page and that includes respawning the ender dragon and grabbing its breath which i haven't done yet all right let's go i got the end crystals and fun fact i've actually done this a hundred times so i should know what i'm doing here this is gonna respawn i've got all the stuff we need so let's go ahead and get this ender dragon in here we get another gateway too which is good let's go get the spyglass easy achievement come on oh there we go yes easy achievements now i just gotta kill this guy because Damn, I got a lot. And there it is. All right, so that is actually all of the end ones as well. However, we're getting close to day 3000. We only have less than 70 more Minecraft days to do this. And I'm scared that these next ones are gonna take quite a while. Well, maybe not the next one. All we need to do for the next one is just scrape wax off of a copper block with a honeycomb and then there we go, easy as that. But then here's the next one. We need to breed every single animal and I've only done six. So yeah, I don't even know which ones I have done. I'm probably just gonna end up doing every one anyway. So yeah, let's get started. All right. 
right, let's start off with the axolotls. There we go. The ocelots, cats, chickens, sheep, which I've definitely done. Cows, mushrooms, goats, foxes, hoglins. I didn't even know you could do that, to be honest. Horses, donkeys, mules. There's no way I'm not getting this achievement. I did it. Let's go. I kind of want to keep this guy. Not this guy. This guy. He's kind of fast. I'm never going to ride it. But dude, he's so cool. Let's bring him to the ship. We could be like Noah's Ark. There we go. If you guys have a name for this guy, make sure to drop it in the comments. Anyways, back to the mobs. Llamas, pandas, pigs, rabbits, striders, dogs. Now, okay, wait. Now I got three dogs. Guys, if you have names, drop them in the comments because I don't know what I'm going to do with all these guys. But I got one more mob and I think it's the camel. So I need to go ahead to a desert. All right, here we are. We got two camels and hopefully they just breed if I do that. Hey, there we go. That one took a minute, but there's the baby camel. And that completes that advancement. So we move on to the next one, which is get in a boat with a goat. Uh, this shouldn't be too difficult. I just got to find a goat. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, there's some goats here at the top of the mountain. Let's just get him in a boat. There we go. And then easy as that. Now the next one, I've actually kind of been working on this whole time. And that is to tame all cat variants. So every time I've went by a village while getting the mobs and all that stuff, I've been taming the cats that I think I don't have. I actually have one just here. So I already have five out of 11. Uh, so pretty much I just need to run through a bunch of villages and hope to find the ones that I don't have. Now, I know there's a witch hut right here, but is there a black cat? I think I've seen it roaming around here before. Maybe on the mountain. I think it's on the mountain. Yeah, it is. Hey, we got it. There we go. Okay, yeah, I don't have this one. Hey, another one. Let's go. Let's go. Only two left. Let's go. One more. I think this is the one I'm missing. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. This one took forever to find. Let's go. That's all 11 cats. Yeah, no, it's not yours anymore. This is mine. However, we are cutting it close. I have less than 50 Minecraft days to get the rest of these achievements. And the next one is to team up with an axolotl and win a fight. Okay, so I'm pretty sure for this one, we just need to grab an axolotl and then kill like a ocean mob. We have a sea temple right next to the base. So I'm just going to dive in here. Hit him. Oh, hit him. Let's go. We're, like, we're kind of tag team that one, man. All right, get back in here. You're literally probably half hot. All right, and believe it or not, that actually leaves us with one last advancement. And that is to eat every single thing edible in the game. All right, I've collected literally like every food in the game, minus the obvious ones like golden carrots because I've been eating that the entire series. So hopefully by eating all these, it'll check us off the list. <laughs> I honestly thought I would have got it by now, but I got two left. And if we go to the achievement, we have two left. So it must be these two. We have sweet berries and raw salmon. Hey, we did it. Damn, literally to the last thing. And that completes everything. If we go to our advancements, we literally have every single advancement on all of the pages too. There's not a single thing missing on any of them, which completes it. And let's check what day we're on. Oh, yeah. Look, honestly, we had so much time. I made a video saying I completed every advancement in hardcore Minecraft, except I didn't. Turns out the secret advancements in Minecraft that don't even show up on the advancement list until you unlock them. I guess that's why they call it a secret. But today I'm going to be getting every single secret advancement. And these ones are even harder than the ones we completed before because they're secrets, I guess. Starting off with killing five unique mobs with a crossbow. Okay, I got two poison potions. I just need to get like all these mobs in a hole. I think we'll do it over here because then I can a snow golem which is an easy mob to the count okay let's start off with a cow we got a pig here we got a sheep we got a chicken here and we'll get a snow golem to top it off that should be five perfect so now what we're gonna do is throw two poison potions on these guys just to be safe it shouldn't kill them just get them really low and then shoot it is that on five did i miss count i didn't hit the chicken oh my god Okay, we do it again. We do it again. Okay, poison potion one. I uh, got me. Poison potion two. Can't even see the chicken, but let's go there. Hey, we did it. Second time. Second time is a charm. But yeah, that is a hidden achievement, which means if we go into the advancements, it wouldn't even be here until we do it. So there's a bunch more that we need to get. So let's move on to the next one. And next up is to get an allay to give you an item. So I think I know where an outpost is where we can get some allays. So let's head over there. Okay, finally, the place I thought did not have them. I've went to like six pillager outposts now but what i need to do is put a node block down and then break these guys out and give one of them cake hit the node block throw the cake on the ground yeah 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 and then put it on the node block let's go and we got another one so that's two knocked out like that so the first one was to have an allay drop a cake at a no block which we did and then the second one was to have an allay deliver items to you both are secret advancements and there they are filled in so for the next advancement i need to feed a baby sniffer torch flower seeds and we don't have a baby sniffer at the moment so we got to sort that out first and in order to do that i need these guys to dig up some more seeds okay we got two torch flower seeds we're gonna breed them i'm hoping we'll get another torch flower seed before the egg hatches and this guy grows up but i'm sure we will actually 
need these guys to start digging again. He's going, he's going, he's going. Oh, he did it. Nice. Okay, now we just need this guy to hatch. I put him under some moss, so it should happen pretty quickly. Okay, there we go. He's joined us. Now, all I need to do is just feed this guy torch flower seeds, and that's it. Another secret advancement done. And that actually leaves us with one last one. The how did we get here advancement where we need every single effect in the game. That includes potion effects. That includes dolphins, wardens, puffer fish, conduits, everything. So we need to do a lot of preparation for this. Okay, I've gotten everything I need for this, which is quite a lot of stuff. But the one thing I don't have is a notch apple. And that's okay though, because we're going to need to head to an ancient city now. And that's where we're going to be doing this. So we can probably grab a notch apple at the ancient city while we're there. So let's go ahead over. Okay, right here should be an ancient city. And we have an ocean monument just down there, which is really good. Uh, why am I digging straight down? That's a great question. So I don't actually need the ancient city to get the advancement. I just needed to get the golden apple. So if there is a shrieker close to here, that would be better. Well, there's the city. Um, Yeah, we might just have to end up going down there. That is such a terrible spot for me to dig down. See, so yeah, I need to knock out all of the sensors around this area. I pretty much need to make it so that I can just run around however I want. So our shrieker is in here and it's pretty close to where we want it to fall. So, okay, so pretty much uh, this is the entrance we want. So we can just hop down here. I guess the next thing to do is actually find a golden apple because we need that to get this advancement. Usually I would just run through these cities because I don't really care, but... Okay, it's done. It's done. He's spawning. I'm just going for it. Oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done that. Like, it was literally right there. Okay, we got two. That's great. That's really great. There we go. So next up, I need to set up the beacon. I guess I could probably do it here, actually. Okay, so this should make a beacon here. And what we need to put on it is haste and regen. And that's already two. That's already two effects going. Uh, next up, we need to set up the conduit. So let's go ahead and do that. I hope this isn't too close to the shrieker. I put it right next to it. But I have, like, no room here. So we're, we're, we're working with what we got. I think that should do it. So yeah, when I'm in the water, I got the conduit power. Okay, so next stop, uh, I'm not looking forward to this part. We need to get a shulker in here to get the levitation effect. So we need a nether portal starting off in this area. I guess the best spot is probably just here. There's really no good spots anywhere to put this thing. Oh my god, literally the worst spot imaginable. Okay, I was gonna put it on top of the nether anyway, but this is just, what, what am I working with here? Okay, this should link up. We're actually not far from the airport. I forgot, I forgot I built an airport. That might be tricky later to work with, but yeah, that links up all good. So remember when I said I would never use this armor? again turns out uh i don't want thorns hitting the shulker so i'm just gonna grab some of these random armor because this armor really isn't that good but it's what we got we're gonna have to take the netherite off for for the time being oh yeah i made the end island a little easier hopefully when he comes through it'll be easy to pull him out yo okay so i just went through the gateway that we spawned this video and it's right next to an end city so i just need to get a shulker from over there and bring him over here i've got a bit of a path going here so i think this guy would be the best opportunity there we go. We got one. He's hitting himself. Don't hit yourself. Oh, okay. We just got to go. We just got to go this way. I don't like anything about this. Let's say you can take four hits before I heal him. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. He went so high. Are we good? We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my God. Put the totem back. Okay. Let's get this guy in now. Uh, that should be good if I just go through here. Oh God. My game crashed and I went through, but he didn't. What are you doing, bro? Why are you out of the boat? <laughs> You just killed himself. Oh my god. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Hey, buddy. Are you on a trip? Okay. Uh, then, oh, I'm so sorry. I actually hate this so much. I'm not gonna go through the portal this time. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna try and fishing rod him. Come on, man. You know this ain't right. What are you doing? Is he through? He might be through. Oh my god, he's here. I thought he would be there. He's here. I can't speed bridge. This is the best I'm doing, guys. Okay, we're good. I don't have any more healing potions. I just have one that's not splash. I just want to get into the overworld, and then I'll heal him. I heal him so much. Oh, I'm going to go through. He's there. He's, he's there. Okay, that was not the plan. I got healing potions, though, so we're going to heal him straight away. I need to shoot the boat. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Oh, I didn't put a boat in. That's, that's fine. I think it's fine. That's not a problem. I was supposed to put a boat in first. Okay, what I'm going to do now is set up the nether portal here. Probably should have done it earlier, but I didn't. So, damn. So, this is like opposite side of the airport, which is unlucky, but uh, we're going to have to work with it. I need to break the boat. And he should go through and get into another boat that I already put on the other side. Uh, perfect. Okay. Okay. Now we need to pretty much carry this guy all the way around the airport and even further because that's where the portal is. So, let's go. There's no way. There's actually no way. There's actually no way. There's actually no way. I was counting. I was counting. I was counting. Every five, I would heal him. There's no way we're that close. <laughs>
And the trouble did not stop there because I went to grab another shulker. I got it in a boat, but then as soon as I did, it disappeared. So then I went to reload my chunks and my game crashed, which I thought no problem. I'll just log back in and I was put back in my base, which is when I realized I'm missing some items. So I relogged again, but no, literally I've just been robbed out of items. Dude, I'm so lost. I'm so confused what just happened, but the blocks are still here I, and I lost my shulker box. So then I got on a call with the expert to try and figure out what happened. I like clicked everything. Like I tried dropping all my slots. It's literally just gone. But Here's, here's the thing here's the thing right these blocks that i'm placing right you see this whole bridge it's there so the blocks are there but my inventory got reset to 30 minutes and my positioning but i know where the shulker box is i don't think i placed it though that's the thing like i swear i didn't place it mojang definitely trolled you but it's like they they try to make you not lose progress but even still like, i didn't place it so i don't know how it just disappears yeah. one item no well so it's just that's what your inventory was 30 minutes ago oh right. and i oh my god i've had it play i had it placed here i had it placed here because i was putting myself in it oh my god god bro okay so to explain what just happened minecraft thought the best way to save the world would be to save the chunk files but not my inventory or oh, they probably couldn't save my inventory so when i went into my base and was getting everything prepared for the end i put the shulker boxes down and put everything in the shulker boxes at this point here is where minecraft saved my inventory where i don't have a shulker box in my inventory however i then picked it up and took it to the end except while i was in the end that's where they saved the world or the chunks that's why the bridge is there all the progress i made in the end so minecraft pretty much took the world progress from that point and my inventory from when I was over here, meaning I don't have my shulker box. It's just, it's gone. It's reduced to atoms. Hopefully that makes sense. I, I I got, I got screwed over. Okay, it's the next day. I got all the stuff back. It took a minute. And I've also got this guy here. I've dropped so many health potions on this guy. So if he dies, I am not going to be too happy about it. But I need to get him up on this platform. I got boats on the other side. This is the um ancient city portal. So once he's in here, it should be fine. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wherever he is, I need him in the spruce boat. That would be so much easier. He is not in the spruce boat. Okay, I might have to break this because it's too close to the conduit. And we'll use the one over there if there's one over there. But this guy's going to be in this red box right here. Get in there and then get there. And then I'm blocking this off with TNT. Crazy decision, but that's just what I got to do. Oh my God, we got it. Okay, so before I continue, I guess I lied. There's one thing I didn't get. And that was another notch apple. Since we lost the one we had, I need to get another one. Yeah, I think I'm out of chest so i gotta head to a different ancient city to get this wait this is one right here bruh bro a normal apple someone logged onto my world and put that there yeah i got nothing here i gotta i gotta head not here okay i was not recording because there's like 10 wardens down there but i got two i got two so let's head back okay uh i also got all the potions ready i need to get the dolphin now which is gonna go in here lucky enough and i was talking about this earlier the ocean monument is literally like this close to the ancient city so hopefully i can just go here grab a dolphin since it's in the ocean and it should be fine while i'm underground bro i literally had to mine out of there with mining fatigue okay we're here okay so so I'll build a portal here and grab it on a lead. And then hopefully he speeds us up over here. Oh, he's through. He's got like two minutes before uh, he dies because he doesn't have any oxygen. So pull him through here and then chill, 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 chill. Grab him on the lead, put him there. And then he should go in if I push him. I think that's it. Yeah, I just need to name tag him real quick. There we go. That's it. Hopefully with that, if I go in here, I get dolphins grace. Yes, I do. Nice. Actually with that, that is everything we need. But we do need to start by just defeating a raid to get the hero of the village effect and then the bad omen effect. So yeah, let's go do that. Uh, there's a village right here. I guess we'll do it here and there's a raid complete i completely forgot i have a raid farm i don't know why i did this but yeah we got hero of the village for 40 minutes but yeah next up i need to get another pillage guy there's one right here perfect there we go we got bad omen as well the next thing to get would be mining fatigue but i just want to go back and make sure everything's ready i've got time i've got time why is the dolphin gone oh my god thank god i checked there's literally no dolphin here i name tagged him i full name tagged him i cannot believe this i don't have a slow falling potion this time though so I, I don't know it should be fine it should be fine it's gonna be so much more difficult without slowly falling because this guy's gonna bounce around everywhere come in okay okay he's good he's good he's good i gotta set myself up again i've practiced this so many times like i'm i think i can do this we're just gonna go through here and grab the mining fatigue wait wait, wait, wait. i need the i need the hunger i need the hunger i need to lose my hunger first okay there we go so yeah we go through here grab the mining fatigue then we got five minutes to do this yo what do i gotta do to get mining fatigue there we go let's get out of here oh the dolphin dude stop you're messing me up you're messing me up stop Dude, I have five minutes. This dolphin's, this dolphin's gonna, he's gonna make me, he's gonna make me. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Let's go, let's go. I probably should have rocketed to the portal. It's too late now. I'm not switching it. I have practiced my life for this. I just gotta throw all the potions, get all, throw it, and then get all this ready and eat the gap. Place the sensor there, break this, shoot myself with an arrow. 
please. And then pop pop a bit. Stew. With a rose. Oh my god, I did it. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, thank god. I, I didn't know where to go get all that stuff again. Oh, milk bucket. Drink the milk bucket. What am I doing? I want to kill this shulker so bad, but just in case we need it later on in life, I'm going to block it off. Thank god, yo. I was I was literally thinking, like, I probably have to get all the stuff again because, I don't know, this is like, you mess up one thing and it's all gone, but that is it. I'm currently building an amusement park in Minecraft, except I only have one attraction. So to make this park a little bit better, we need to add more, which is why today we're going to be transforming this whole area into a wipeout course, which was actually suggested from my discord where i'm taking suggestions to add any type of ride or attraction into this park so if you guys have any ideas make sure to join the link is in the description but before we start any of this i need to get a bunch of materials because this area just looks like a plains so yeah let's go ahead and get all the stuff we need All right, we gotta stop it there because we are about to hit day 3000. And that's a big milestone. As the sun sets right here, I'm gonna head to sleep because I don't wanna have monsters here while I'm getting gravel. So uh, not really the place I would expect to be doing this, but we're here regardless. So let's hit the bed here and we should see that number tick over. Today 3000, we did it. And I have some fireworks. Hopefully we get them. No, it's already daytime. We made it here regardless. And hopefully we make another thousand days. I don't know, back to the materials. <laughs> All right, that should be everything. And I actually got some name suggestions for our animals. I had to move this guy in the boat because he, he just keeps running off. I don't know what his deal is. But we're calling him Knockoff Rudolph uh, just in time, right? This is going up in December, right? And then we got some for the dogs as well. So if you guys have any name suggestions, make sure to join up in the Discord. Drop them in there. We got plenty of cats to name if you guys have names for any cats. But now that we have everything we need, all that's left to do is head over and get started. All right, so just like last time, what I'm going to start off by doing is just connecting the paths around here that we're going to be using today. And then also getting the green color concrete powder or like the grass that we're going to be using in the areas that we're going to be using it so yeah let's go ahead and do that All right, there we go. Most of it is just in this area here because the actual wipeout is not going to extend that far. Just like we did the deadliest roller coaster, how we made it gray on the floor. We're going to do the same over here, except it's going to be light blue. So it's going to look something like this. I think it will look nice with the whole theme of the wipeout. You guys will see. So let me go ahead and do that now. All right, there we go. It looks a bit messy, but that's just because I know where everything is going to go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start actually building this. We're going to do the first two obstacles and that'll get us started on this whole course. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, there's the first two obstacles in here. So it's going to start here. We'll have a line going through here. And then you go up the bubble elevator to the start of the course. And that's why you're just going to grab a boat and then drive it through this ice road, avoiding the soul sand if you can, and through the hoop. So I'm going to try it now. Maybe I can nail the first try. It gets really tricky to handle it with the steering because the ice. But yeah, we got we got close. I don't know. But it is actually possible to go right through this onto the platform. And then you would get out and you have a drip leaf parkour. So if you guys don't know with the drip leaves, if you stand on for too long, it's just going to fall. So you have to act pretty quickly. So you'd have to quickly jump from one to another, getting across and then turn around here and then back and then onto the next one. So yeah, we have a big hole in the ground here, but I'm going to build the next two obstacles now. And one of them requires a bit of redstone. So I'm going to come back when I need to figure out how to do that. So let's go. Okay, there we go. We got some new obstacles here. So after you do the parkour over to here, you're going to jump on these slimes and hopefully make it across. It's not too difficult. And then you get the soccer punch wall. This is a real obstacle. So the red, it's, it's really supposed to be boxing gloves. They're going to come out with pistons over and over again, trying to push you into the water. Except I haven't set up the redstone for this. And I'm going to explain what I'm going to do. So we can set up a pretty simple redstone clock here. If we break and place the redstone fast enough, it should turn into a clock. There we go. And it looks pretty crazy, but pretty much what's going on here the rest are just going around in a circle over and over again and it doesn't realize it's being powered off literally nothing so then we can hook this up to a piston which will be our boxing gloves or where this person's going to get pushed off into the water and we can even hook this up with another piston and put a delay on this one so it has a different timing to this one however we can't turn this on and off without breaking it so what we have to do is what i got here and pretty much it's the same thing over here that's the same kind of clock except instead of having one of those redstone pieces there it has a piston with a block that's completing the circuit and then 
then just goes off to do this stuff over here. It looks complicated. It's really not though. And hey, maybe there's a better way of doing this, but I thought of this myself. So I'm, I'm proud of it and this is what I'm doing. But now what I have to do is squeeze that whole thing in this small box because yeah, I have a lot less room in here. So there we go. That should be good or working. It's the same thing. Hopefully if we just go around here and flick this lever, yeah. So then it should be pretty difficult to actually get through, yeah. But anyways, we're gonna continue on building a bunch more obstacles. I'll just build a few of them and then we'll come back when we need to. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Now we have a few obstacles in it. So if we go past this wall here, we're gonna come around to pretty much a parkour obstacle course. You go through the hoops, all the way counting up the numbers as it changes colors up here. And then you keep on running over the box and then through to the next obstacle, which is a honey wall. And you wanna slide down this and hopefully make it onto the platform. If you fail at any of these, you just swim through the water and come back up. And then you're gonna have a chain, kind of like a tie rope thing going on here where you're gonna have to walk across. And I'm gonna put two skeletons in it, which I'm gonna sort out right now. But once you get through here, you can either keep going, but you can also grab a bow from here and shoot the target and then it'll shoot up a health potion or regen potion it's random we get one of the two if you need it like if you get shot a bunch by these skeletons hopefully no one dies uh but yeah i gotta grab skeletons hopefully this isn't difficult we got skeletons we got skeletons oh this guy's in this guy's definitely in oh i didn't mean to do that and that's one that's one that's one oh he can't shoot me from here there we go that's one okay how did that work i don't even know how he pathfinded i don't even know how he pathfinded Find it? Pa path? Find it? Path find I don't know how he got in there. Just need to name tag him. Oh my god. Why is- Oh my god. He's not supposed to be that low. Oh my god. I got him. I got him. I got him. Need to name tag him. And... Let's go. I'm not gonna open these up until we're done. But next up to do, we're gonna build a small obstacle just right here. And then we're gonna move on to the red balls. And the thing with this one, I think if I were to just build red balls, just bam, 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 it'd be too easy. So we want to put like slime blocks, ice, honey blocks as the balls, but then it's not gonna be red. So to do that, we're gonna put this here and then put item frames all over these with a red map. Uh, So to make a red map, we need to pretty much fill an entire chunk with red wool or red concrete luckily we have a wool farm but this is gonna take a minute Okay, there we go. Just a giant red square. But if we open the map, as you can see, it covers the entire map, which also means if we grab an item frame and then put this on the ground, it covers the entire block. However, I need 484 of these things, which is fine because we can duplicate them just by combining them with an empty map. That's fine. I have the resources to do that. But I also need 484 item frames, which I do not have. And I'm going to need a lot of leather for this. So I think it's time we make a bunch of cow pens like we did with the sheep and get all this leather so i'm gonna do that i did start getting cows but then i realized this is gonna take way too much time and i remembered you can get leather from killing hoglins in the nether so i just made a pretty simple hoglin farm the link to this will be in the description below but i think i have enough now yeah this should be everything that we need to get all the item frames now that is a lot of item frames so that gives us all the item frames we need except i need the maps now and the iron and redstone is easy i can get that but i need a lot more paper than what i have and this entire world my paper farm has literally just been this beach over here so it's time we get a proper sugarcane farm going because i'm gonna need a lot of paper so let's do it All right, this has been working really well. But yeah, we have a sugarcane farm now, giving us lots and lots of sugarcane. I've already emptied this once. And it's also in the swamp where we have all of our other farms. So the iron farm has also been going at the same time, giving us iron to make compasses. So pretty much the only thing missing to get was a bunch of redstone. And I already got that. So I should have everything I need to actually continue building the course now. So I'm gonna finish grabbing all the maps and we'll head back over and get back to building. <laughs> Okay, so pretty much now we have this kind of parkour obstacle course here, but the path is not really clear where you have to go. Like you think you could go there and straight there, but I don't think you can. So you got to go all the way around parkouring on these very small blocks and you probably fall in. I'm a pro, so I'm not falling in, but you go through that. And then once you get here, you have the big red balls. And this is where we needed the item frames for because we're actually hiding these blocks under it. So this is a slime block under this one, which you guys probably saw, which makes it a bit tricky, kind of throws you off. And then you got to jump over here and this is ice on this 
this one. Oh wait, this is soul sand. This is soul sand. So it slows you down. It makes the jump really difficult. And then this one's ice, which is kind of an easy one. But then this is the honey block one. If you guys don't know, it's really difficult to jump on honey blocks. You get like one centimeter off the air. So you got to be pretty careful here. But the ladder is there, so it's not that difficult. But yeah, that's why we needed all those item frames and maps. But yeah, with that one complete, there's actually just three more obstacles we need to do to complete this entire course. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and knock those out right now. We'll have a loop around here and then end right over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, there it is all of the obstacles in here so once you get past the boss here you gotta jump on here through the slime block i missed straight away you have to jump on the slime block through the hoop oh i kind of cheated it there uh we're kind of missing something here. i'm gonna have pigs hanging from here so that you have to jump and try and ride them and go from one to another all the way across so we'll grab those in a second but once you get across you get the final obstacle you have a mine card going in circles and you need to time it with the slime block so that you go into the mine card it's kind of luck i mean you don't really know when it's gonna turn up but i guess we'll go now i think this is a decent time and oh we got it nice yeah and then you get off ring the bell saying you're done and then through you can bounce on the slime and this will be the exit right here and that is all the obstacles but like i said we are missing four pigs let's go grab those there we go look at us there's one there's two there's three there's four now hopefully i could just get rid of all this dirt and they shouldn't die oh my god if you land on that block that should be good this is the challenge you have to jump and you got a timer right although it's pretty random so i'm just gonna jump and I missed it straight away. Go. Oh, I got it. I got it. And then you should be able to right click onto the next one. If not, you have to shift off and move forward. It's it's possible, guys. Trust me, it's possible. But now that we have all the obstacles in it, it still looks pretty ugly. Well, not ugly, but it still looks kind of random. So there's a lot of open space everywhere. So we're going to put a bunch of trees in here and we're going to put a nice fence going around and then also fill in the trees area over here, which connects it to the main paths and the castle. Not over here, though, because we are going to still build a moat eventually. But yeah, pretty much put the final finishing touches on this course so that it ties in and actually looks like it's meant to be here and that'll be it so yeah let's go ahead and finish this off <laughs> And that is it. I think it fits in a lot better now. Now that there's trees, it doesn't really make sense to have trees growing on whatever this blue stuff is, but it works. And even looking at the whole park now, it looks like we're filling this thing up, which is good. But really quickly, I got another name suggestion as I was recording this. So there we go. We got another name on the cat, but we still have a lot of unnamed cats if you guys have any ideas. But now that the wipeout course is complete, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to actually grab some contestants and run it. Contestant number one. Are you ready? You ready? You ready to go? Three, two, one, go. Avoid the soul sand. Don't want to hit the soul sand. You're going through the hoop too. Oh, you missed the hoop. Watch the soul sand. Don't get slowed down by the soul sand. Oh, why'd you... Oh, that's an interesting tactic. We're getting out before Dude, the hoop. There, there's no tactic. Through the hoop. Oh, he did it. Nice, nice. Through the parkour. Is that huge? Is that huge? All right, what's this? Dripply parkour. Oh, he's been practicing. He's been practicing. Oh, he went straight. I didn't even consider that as an option. You could have... You oh, my God. Oh my you missed God. straight away. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's plenty of time to make up for this. There's plenty of of time the slime oh no, keep going forward 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 <laughs> slime jumps right here oh it's all right it's all right it's all right it's all right no issues no issues the slime too easy with the slime oh you got hit straight away the soccer bone oh ah oh, you got hit up keep going forward there. i wasn't even there on my <laughs> the soccer bone wait was i supposed to press the lever oh no it's fine just keep going why would you place it there where the hell am i going nice 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 oh pretty colors Thanks. You gotta go. Oh my god. That's actually <laughs> insane, bro. I built this whole course and you're just gonna fall straight away. Not gaming it. That's right. You know what to do here. You know what to do here. Yeah. They, oh. Slide down. Oh, not enough. Not situation. enough. Oh. Oh my goodness, man. Have you completed Dude, an obstacle yet? I don't yet? think I've completed one. <laughs> watch your skeletons. Oh, there you go. You did it. Oh, watch your skeletons, bro. Watch your skeletons. Oh. Oh, watch your skeletons. <laughs> You gotta get through, you gotta get through. Nice, nice, nice. The boat. Maybe you don't need it, maybe you need it. Okay, I got reached. You got healed. You got healed from the skeleton. See, it's if you want it, if you want it. Oh my god, bro. The parkour. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's a pro. That's insane. Mickey failed at the first jump. Let's see. You gotta be careful. Oh, just go straight to the ladder. Interesting tactic. <laughs> All right, the walls, the walls. Be careful. Oh, nice. The first one. Ah, oh, the second one gets Dude, this you, bro. One's tough. There may be a reason it's covered in maps. Oh my god. Bro, I put this whole course. Oh my god. All right. Nice, nice. Yeah, there might be might be something under it. There might be something under it. Ah, oh, Through the hoop. Not bad, not bad. Another jump. 
Through the hoop. Nice, nice. All right, here we go. Through the hoop. Oh, no. <laughs> he just spins it over. Okay, this one's the trickiest part. How do you do it? You just got to get on the pig. Ah, oh, you missed it. You missed it. Are you serious? It's tricky. It's actually the trickiest part. Oh, he's done the first one. Can you get the second yeah, one? No. Okay. This is so... This is actually the most difficult thing here. Ah, oh, man. Getting it on the pig. Do not shoot the pig. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. That's one. Ah, oh, damn, bro. It's a trash, bro. What are you talking about? Dude, I'm so far last, dude. There's no, no it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're actually not doing bad. This is the final obstacle. You need to get in the minecart. You need to time it. He just jumped straight away. You gotta time it with the minecart and the slime. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, you missed it. And ring the bell. There we go. Stop the time. You gotta time it properly. Yeah, you gotta time it properly. Oh. Ah! Uh, oh, you did it! You did it! That's what you missed. Ring the bell. You ring it? Hey. I can't. You can't? Right click it. And that's all the contestants, and it pains me to say this, but our winner, after turning off the sucker punch and pretty much swimming through the entire course, is Jake. Uh, I, I don't know how this happened. And that's it. That's how I survived another thousand days in hardcore Minecraft. If you guys watched all the way to the end, first of all, wow. Here's a sneak peek for the next video. But let me know which build was your favorite. I think mine would have to be the airport. And if you guys want to continue watching and the next video is already out, it'll be on the screen right now. Or if I survived another thousand days, the next movie is out it is also on the screen now for you guys to continue watching but otherwise thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it a lot and i'll see you guys in my next one later